Yeah. This album is dedicated to all the teachers that told me I'll never amount to nothing. You would be probably top three closest friends to Big. Do you miss that life? Flying everywhere, parties, all that? Nah. Nah. I only liked it because it was with us. That was my only enjoyment because we enjoyed it together. D gutta. He was one of the closest friends of the infamous rapper, the notorious Big. So we're sitting here, we're at Biggie's house, 226. Yeah. I just slid the burn down because I don't know what dude, you know, what his intentions was. They pulled up in a Hummer. Tupac was screaming, y'all on the west side now. I had the 357. I tried to slide it behind me. That's when dudes had to get somewhere. I, they know my nigga got the fucking kidnap kids. I ain't talked to him for like two weeks. I just wasn't speaking to him. This would sound racist to white people. The only culture that people adopt is black culture. Mm -hmm. See, got her. What's cracking? Yeah. Ah, what's good? I gotta say, it's a pleasure. I told you that before, it's a pleasure. Appreciate it. It's an honor to have you here with us. Uh, you would be, you would be probably top, top three closest friends to Big. Would you say that? Yeah. I mean, you lived at his house. You know what I mean? You really, y'all you, did some research. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a professional. I'm a professional. Y'all did some research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm a professional. I also nah. know you got dance moves. Huh? Nah, I didn't go that deep. I didn't go that deep. <laughs> I didn't go that deep. <laughs> I didn't go that deep. Um, yeah, I, I moved in after um, my mom's passed away. My yeah. mom's passed away in December 88. Yeah. So probably around January. Yeah. Of 89. Yeah. I, I moved in. Yeah. I mean, yeah. in an interview, you said his mom, Miss Wallace, was like a second mother to you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you got to think about it. I was 18 when my mom's passed. Well, just turned 19. And, um, you know, I was at a loss. Mm. My mom's passed. Like, like that, was my, that mm. was my rock. So she took me in. Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, I had my sisters and, and, and they were still there, but she took me in, you yeah. know, it, it was just like, I ain't feel right staying at the crib yeah, because, you know, the memories and all that. Yeah. So I just moved, I just moved up the block with Big. Like we talked about before, the memories. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We talked about that before. And that's a, that's a different kind of pain, having a loss of a parent because... It's, it's, that's a different type of grieving. Yeah. And then, you know, also my mother was, um, like, I knew it was coming. Oh, I see. She had, like, she fell in, like, the backyard and broke her hip. And that's when she told us that she had cancer. Gotcha. But my older sister told, told, told me later that she already knew but that just exacerbated the, the situation. Because we were living in Mississippi, so she wanted uh -huh. to come back up here. What a gladiator. Don't you reckon? No, what a yeah, gladiator. My mom's, my mom's no, a honestly. What a gladiator to have cancer and not tell your, not tell your family, not tell your kids. Because you don't want was, them to worry. Yeah, she, she was forced. She was forced because, like I said, she fell to, there yeah. in the backyard. Because we lived in the basement apartment where we had the backyard. Yeah. So we could just go out. So one morning, like one weekend morning, she was going out. She slipped on the um, yeah. on the joint and broke her hip. And that's when everything got revealed. Yeah. So I was like 16, get ready to turn 17. Yeah. So I knew, I knew it was, you know, yeah. I because at that time we already knew cancer. It was like it's not like now. Yeah. People can get treated and, and, and yeah. come back, but at that time, in the 80s. It was like, that was a death sentence. Yeah. So I kind of knew. Yeah. So that's why I was really kind of like, because I was, I was, I was a, a, a solid student. Mm. I was good. Like my whole family, we, mm. we, we always excelled in school, but that's when I started like, well, it, it, it was a combination of things. It okay. wasn't just because my mom yeah. had it cancer. Money. It was... I came up here back from Mississippi and my nose got open. Like, it's just like when people get high, 
they 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 open. Once yeah. a dude turned me on to something, and then I'm running around, and I could have what I want. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling my mom, well, you know, because um, my mom would buy stuff from boosters and stuff like that. So what I would do is tell my mom, say, oh, this guy got this, or this girl got this, da 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 she'll buy it. But really, I didn't really do a lick to go get the money to buy the clothes or whatever. And then I would sneak it back into my mom's purse. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, like the... Like the joint, um, cause I didn't watch the whole movie. The, oh, you haven't the seen thing, the biopic. The, the whole notorious big, the notorious movie, memories. You know, uh, oh, I, I it's, 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 you know, then I know it's Hollywood, so yeah. it's certain things is not gonna be yeah. portrayed correctly. Did they reach out to you? To talk I was about- in prison. Oh, you're in prison. I was in prison. That's when I was doing the, um, the but, 16 years. But they could still reach out to you in prison and, and come and interview you and be like, yo, like, what was it like? No? I mean, I, I don't know. Like, they didn't I, reach out. I, yeah, they didn't yeah. reach out. But, yeah. you know, I, but I spoke to um, C's. Uh, I spoke to people that were doing the movie. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was cool. Because I, I have a relationship with um, both his kids, his yeah. daughter and his son. Yeah. You know, of course, C's and, and the rest of the mafia. So I yeah. was, I was, I knew what was going on, but I just, they just didn't contact me. Got ya. Personally. Got ya. But, um, yeah, um, so that's, you know, like I said, I came back up here. It was easy. Cause in the South, you like, you know, you, you know, you get caught up. Yeah. What's going to happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I was, I was young. I wasn't like, I probably came. I was a. I, I probably came outside later than a lot of people up here. Got yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm in Mississippi. Yeah. So we don't have all the stuff that we can get into down there that people yeah. can get into. Yeah. So dudes could come out here and yeah. be on the streets at yeah. 11, 10, 11, 12. I didn't do that because I was living down south and we had it structured. You know, my mom structured our home in a way that that wasn't happening anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She was strict. But, well, not strict. My mom's wasn't strict because I didn't have curfews or anything else, but she just knew you're going to be in the house at a reasonable time. Who was more strict, your mom or Biggie's mom? Because I heard she was strict too. Big mom. Big mom. She was strict, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but see, this is the thing. Big moms were strict, but she was... Like her and my mom's was green to the streets. Yeah. So you can kind of like yeah. play around that. Yeah. Because me and Big yeah. played the innocent role so like, yeah. Like we constantly did it. Because I'm yeah. the baby for my mother. I'm the yeah. only boy for my mother. Big is the only child. Yeah. So I knew how to play the the the, the, the innocent, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I was both of us did well in school. So yeah. that wasn't the issue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All my issues in school was I would do my work quick and then start trouble in class. Yeah. Oh, I see. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, but I got good grades. Yeah. So that wasn't a real issue with my moms. And then I had the little man complex, so I stayed fighting. Because I was a- But you're not little. I was a little guy. (laughs) Got yeah. I was a little guy. Like, I didn't, I didn't- Back then. Yeah, back then I was a little guy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and not and not just short. I was short and and skinny. Yeah, I was a little scrawny kid. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But, you know, I have no brother, so I got to take up for myself. Then, then yeah. you you feel worse when your sister is fighting for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You feel yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. like a real sucker yeah, if your sister yeah, yeah. is beating sister. up the bully. <laughs> that that I ain't, we not I can't have that. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I gotta say thank you to uh, to Hustle for shutting down. Well, we we're supposed to shut him down, but this young blood came through, which uh, which is no problem. But uh, but appreciate shutting it down for us to do a podcast in here. So you met you met Biggie when you were fourteen, and no, Laundry Man when, when he was fourteen. He was fourteen. You're three years older yeah. than him, so you're seventeen. Yeah. Well, I was getting ready to turn because so it was the summertime. Got ya. I turned seventeen in October. Got ya. And I'm saying so it was the summertime. Yeah. It was like some spring summer. Yeah. It was a time where it was either spring break or it was summer break. Yeah, okay. Because it was a time where we could be outside 
dudes is not in school. We out, we in the game room at 10 yeah. o'clock, 9 o'clock early. Yeah. And, I'm, and it wasn't a game room. It was a laundry mat, but they had games in there. Had games in there. So people from people that lived in the 80s and 90s, they will only get it. Like the Got young you. kids now, they will be a game room. Yeah. It's like I grew up with a gaming system in my crib. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But we like, especially for 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 poor kids, we wasn't having that. No, now, we we hustling. That's why dudes was made pack bags, do other little hustles. Yeah. Um, I me, mean, I was because I came back up from the south where my little hustle was cutting grass. Oh yeah, Mississippi. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, I, like we had a lawnmower, so I had to cut my mom's grass. Well, uh, what about uh, mail? Uh, what do what, what they call that? Not mail, mailbox drop, um, newspaper, newspaper. Um, oh, the new, new yeah. uh, paper route? Yeah, paper route. Um, <laughs> did you do that? I did that. No, nah, we lived in the all black, we, we lived in the okay. all black community, so okay. it, like it was like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, too, like, too like, <laughs> nah, not too dangerous because I like, I got, I lived in rural Mississippi, okay, so it's like it, like. It's, it was really no crime. Yeah. You had kids doing stuff that was, they considered criminal acts, but for us, it's just like we just fucking around. Yeah. You got an abandoned store. We going in the store. Yeah. It's abandoned. We don't know that, you know what I'm saying, it's a criminal act, trespassing and yeah. stuff like that. But down there, they're going to adjudicate us harshly. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go to juvenile hall for something like that. Whereas, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's really not. It'll just be, they, yeah. they take you home to your mom's. Your, you know, your yeah. mom's talk, you scold you and tell you what's right and wrong. But down there, your ass going to jail, my yeah. nigga. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a different, it's, it's a different Environment. dynamic. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't really no, wasn't, you know, even even when I started with the gang shit, that shit was we played sports and fought. That's it. Wasn't that yeah. nobody got stabbed, yeah. nothing. Yeah. Then everybody in like, cause I lived in a few towns. Yeah. I lived in Tunica, Cleveland, Mound Bayou, and Clarksdale. So that's all in the um Mississippi Delta. Yeah. So Clarksdale um is where BB King is from. Yeah. And Nate Dog. Yeah. So rest in peace. Yeah. So, but I, you know, yeah, I knew a bunch of like BB King was he was the man. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it wasn't it really it, it wasn't no crime. You had juke joints and stuff like that mm. where, like we we wasn't allowed to go in them shits. Mm. Not at not at a young age. Mm. You know what I mean. But mm. in one town I lived in, it was one not close, not too far from the crib. Yeah. But that's a joint where they had the pool table and they had yeah. games. Yeah. So in the daytime, we could go in there. Yeah. It was just at nighttime, it was a dub. We bought. Uh, got, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we 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 peeped a little shit. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. We peeped the underworld a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we like down there it was Yeah, it wasn't like it is here. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. It wasn't open. I get it wasn't open. Yeah. It's like if you up here. Mm. And you see a dude, dude be like, all right, shorty, you trying to you trying to get some money? Mm. Yeah, come here. Yeah. Yeah. Down there, that shit wasn't happening. That. You know what I mean? You you mentioned this is your hood, right? Where are we right now? Um well we actually in Clinton Hills. Yeah. But everybody calls it the star. Mm. Because we so close, we so close to the star that people don't like, at least back in the days. People didn't know what Clinton Hills was. So if you say, yo, I'm from Fulton and Was, they were like, oh, you from the star. Got ya. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like nobody knows St. James. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before Big. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody knows. Yeah. Nobody knew. Like even in Brooklyn. Yeah. Like if you wasn't from around here, nobody knew where St. James yeah. was. Because it's only from Atlantic Avenue to Lafayette. Yeah. That's how short it is. Yeah. So, so that's how long the street is. Yeah, I mean, um, it's a very long street, but I mean, we're, we're 100 meters away from Biggie's house and where you grew up as well. This is the Biggie, what would you call it? Biggie intersection. You got Biggie yeah. murals everywhere, yeah. right? They renamed the street. Yeah, he got right? the, um, he got his block renamed. Yeah, Chris, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Christopher Wallace. Just for way. him. 
It's so gentrified now. What was this store back then? No, this was a barbershop. This is still a barbershop. Yeah. Would, would, would Big get his cut, uh, get his hair cut for you? By the time this opened, nah. Nah. See, it was another barbershop where it's a dude named Guess. Guess still, Guess still out here. Guess used to cut hair. Guess had a barbershop on Clinton and Fulton. So yeah. So that's where Big, and before that, I don't know what it is now. I think it's like a, it's either the Thai, the noodle joint, yeah. or another store. Yeah. But that was the old barbershop Mr. Cicero used to be at. That's where everybody from down here got their hair cut. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But that was the, that was the, that was the first, but like, also, we had, like, I got a homeboy, Jay, resting in peace. He just, he just passed away. He used to cut hair. He used to cut hair in here, too. But we used to, like, Jay used to experiment on me before he became an official barber. Yeah. He, ex he used to experiment on us and yeah. cut our hair. Before? But like, yeah. Before he mm -hmm. got nice, he used to zeke us. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we used to live with it. It's free. So you guys would be having fucked up handcuffs. But he would, it wouldn't be a bad zeke. It wasn't bad? Nah, it wouldn't be. It'd just be, all right, he'll give you a fade. You can still see the line. Ah, I see. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, he still, he still like he we we wasn't never we, we wasn't never gonna sit there and let him fuck us yeah. all the way off. Yeah, but you know you lead the line like all right, you know it ain't you know it ain't the bar, but it's free. Mm. And he getting better. Mm. Next time we come, the line get lighter and lighter. Next yeah. thing you know, we don't see the line in our face. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then he knew how to do designs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Cause that that was that's why. A lot of dudes fucked with, at least in my era, a lot of dudes fuck with in the house barbers. Because the young dude, it was the young, the older heads, like we would go to Cicero. Cicero was like 50 something, 60 something, we was going to cut his hair as a teenager. He don't, he's not into what we what we like. Yeah, okay. But Jay cutting hair, he's trying to put the Jordan in your head. Stuff like that, the sure. the, 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 the mad, the, get, the, yeah. the multiple parts where it look like a design in your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, I feel yeah. So that's why Maybe we if was it's free. Going, yeah. Yeah. And, but he started getting night now. He getting he doing all kind of parts. Okay. So where was his shop? Jay didn't have no shop. We was going in his crib. And then he started working in a got few yeah. other barber shops once he got older. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So collectively, you've been to prison for 16 years. No, collectively, about 26 and a half. 26 and a half years collectively, and one stint of 16. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Because if you count the parole violations, yeah. laying up, beating the case. You know so I mean? you're really like 24 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Street, street age, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, street, how much time you had on the streets? You're only like 24 years old. And you got to think about this. I probably got less than that adult years. Yeah. You got to yeah. think about it. Yeah. Shit. From, just say 18. Well, Seven subtract, years, maybe? Sub, yeah, subtract, subtract. So 18 from 55, and then subtract the 26 from that. Seven and years. That. Seven years of adulthood. How long have you been free now for? Seven years. Seven years. Damn. Do you miss that life? Do you miss, you know, when Biggie was around, obviously life was exciting. You'd be flying everywhere, parties, all that. Do you miss that? Um, no. No. Not like I only liked it because it was with us. Sure. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? It's yeah. like that was my only enjoyment because we enjoyed it together. Yeah. It's like, but that's how we came up. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like I remember when rest in peace, O. Oh, yeah. When when O was alive, when when that's who it used to mainly be in bed crib. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Would be big, big, and oh. Um, we would go 
say we go uptown and get some work, which is cops, cops, some um, cocaine. Come hook it up. Only thing we had left money we had, we bought weed and capsules. Okay. So we ain't had no food. Mm. We going to the store, all three of us. One gonna snatch this, one gonna snatch like he gonna snatch the soda, one gonna snatch the you bread. Big and one snatch, yeah. And one gonna snatch this, we're gonna tear ass to the crib. We Damn. Won. You know what I mean? Damn. So, like, Damn. whatever, like, whatever one of us got, yeah. all three of us got. And yeah. then it expanded to everybody else in the circle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because from the research I've done is there's three of you. You, Big, Biggie Smalls, and O. You three were like the crew. They're just well, hanging out. Well, you got to... Well, another, those are your two best friends. Homie, another homie resting in peace is Cheek. Cheek... Cheek kind of brought all of us together. For the simple fact is... O used to be in Brownsville. Oh, uh -huh. lived around here, but he said his, his uncle, that, that's where he got killed at. He would tease them, crack jokes on them, because, you know, you got to wear the suit and all yeah. that. Yeah. You, you know, you got to wear a blazer. <laughs> to go to school. Yeah. yeah. So he cracking jokes on them, so he's always crack on big. So once, once um, me and him came from playing ball, we link up with Big. We, we going Big, Stoop, boo, 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 boo. They going back and forth. But it's like, all right, he see. I'm taking up for Big. All right, we cool. Then Cheek brought us on Fulton Street to hustle. Mm. You know what I mean? Because we was just hanging on the stoop. Mm. We wasn't hustling. Cheek brought us all the hustle. And then that's where the bond got even tighter. Because when you committing criminal acts together. Of course. The bond gonna get tighter. You know what I'm saying? We you gotta can trust look each out. Other. Yeah, exactly. we gotta look out. We gotta look out for each other yeah. for the police, the yeah. jackers. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The older yeah. cats that want to press. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not talk. Huh? Not talk. Yeah. Yeah. So, because those are your two best friends I've read, and and I mean you've got another one now, but all your all your best friends are dead. Yeah. Biggie O. The only only person I got left, and he came like. Rock came on the scene the year after we linked. Rock went to school. That's why I say Cheek. Cheek is the one that brought everybody together. Because yeah. Cheek went to school, went to high school with Rock. Yeah. So, no, it wasn't even the next year. It was the same year, 88. Mm. 88 summer. We met Rock. It was me, Big, Cheek, Rock, and my man Ray Buck. We all went to see Above the Law. Oh, great movie. We all went to see Steven Seagal Above Steven the Law. Steven Seagal, great movie. We go see, that's how our bond. So boom, we link, we click. Yeah. Rock coming down the way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's how, yeah. like, that's why I say Cheek. Yeah. Cheek is the, the nucleus yeah. to everybody. Yeah. Because I knew Cheek cause from Cheek coming to play back. Like, yeah. At that time, I wasn't doing nothing over here. Yeah. I was in Crown Heights. Ah. Uh, I was in Crown okay. Heights. I, like, only thing I did over here, because I lived over here. Yeah. Only thing I did over here was play ball. Oh. That's the only okay. thing I did. I, you get in fights. Yeah. But really, mainly over, over basketball. Yeah. I wasn't getting in fights over street stuff or nothing like that. Yeah. I was getting in fights over basketball. Nobody knew that I was going to mid or nothing like that. Yeah. Really butt big. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because Big would be like, Big younger than me. Yeah. So Big would be asking me like, yo, how you get this? And how you get that? And I'd be like, yo, nigga, I, you know. Move this. I go to school. Yeah. No, we, I, I, we wasn't, I wasn't selling drugs. At this time, going to Mig, we, we would go to Mig and dig, dig pockets or snatch chains. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you, when you go Diamond District, might see a white lady, she got a, she got a diamond necklace. Snatch that, take that to the scales, get paid. You see, you see the print in their pocket, dig the pocket. It's forceful pickpocket. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like pickpockets are sneaky. Yeah. It's forceful we pickpocket. Yeah, forceful. We going, snatching it, pushing them. Like we had we had <laughs> techniques. You should have told that you. Would, you would dig, 
Yeah. And spent. Yeah, yeah. So once you take the money you spent, because yeah. it's crowded. You're you in Midtown. You should have told You're that. You're Midtown to... Manhattan. So it's crowded. They don't actually yeah. know. They may not. They might get disoriented enough for enough time for you to pew. Yeah. And we usually do it. Mostly I learned the technique. Do it by the train station. Okay. So you Why? bang them. You shoot in the train station. You hop get on the in. train. Boom. As the doors are closing. Nine times out of ten, it's always, especially if you're in Midtown. It's always trains yeah, coming yeah. in the station. Yeah, yeah. It don't matter which way you go, long yeah. as you get away from there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You yeah. can hop on the uptown train, boom, I shoot yeah. uptown, I get yeah. off there, boom, boom, boom. I'd have probably took about two or three thousand. Yeah. I'll catch a cab home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. get off the train, I hop off the train in in by Central Park or something like that and catch a cab home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh you, you should tell that to the judge. It's not. It's not robbery. It's forceful pickpocketing. Actually, I never got. I never got caught. I never got caught for that. For that one, no. Okay. Well, it's been twenty years, so statutory. I never got caught for that. You've got a lot of battle scars. Talk to me about some of the battle scars. You got some. You got. You've been sliced. Yeah, I've been mean, cut. In the neck. Shot. No, nah, this is from. This is from actually from a trach tool. Okay. The trach tool was too yeah. tight. Okay. That's why. Have you been shot? Yeah. Like the hit, it, it landed. Yeah. Not shot out. No, so I got yeah. shot. Damn. Where? In the leg. In the leg. I got shot up there, but I had a vessel. Yeah, vessel. Yeah. What was this? This is eighty nine. Like, like, tell me the story of that. Why did you have a vest on? Oh, I was robbing. I like. Okay. I, 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 I sold. I sold drugs. But I also uh, did a lot of stick-ups when your, I was younger. Your role in like the Biggie uh, entourage was, was that se was it security? Uh, yes and no. Okay. It was security just for the fact that that's how we that's how we're gonna roll. Yeah. We're gonna secure each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's getting the money. Why would he need to secure me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why, yeah. Would, why would we need to secure Rock? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. he getting the money. Yeah, but on top of being his best friend, but you're also in the entourage for security. I mean, you know, you weren't doing, you weren't doing the numbers or the accounting. You were there, probably had a piece on you, make sure no, I, was that was That was going to happen regardless. Yeah. See, the, like I said is, I was a robber. So, not only was it an instrument for me to make money, it was also an instrument for protection. Because if after you rob certain people, if you rob certain people that got money, then they can put money on your head. Yeah. So, if you ain't got your burner yeah. and you get caught, then, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I got, I got a little homie when I was locked up yeah. that got killed from doing the same thing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They caught him when he didn't have his. Yeah. So... It's like T.I. when he got caught buying all the Mac 11s and everything. He said, it's funny, you know, they read, why do you have all these, why didn't you buy all these guns? But if they read, oh, he got shot, well, why didn't you have a gun on him? Yeah, but I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I was definitely going to have a gun on him. Tell me the source, uh, was it the Source Awards in, in New York, in, in, uh, in L.A.? Oh, the Soul Train Awards. Soul Train Awards, that's what it was. Tell me about that incident. There was an incident outside, wasn't there? Because you guys were about to leave. Yeah, Big Hat got his arm. Um, and Tupac arrived. Yeah, that's when they pulled up in a Hummer. And Tupac was screaming, y'all on the west side now. Get this shit over right here and there. So um, I had the 357. Yeah. So um, you just showed it to him, didn't you? Well, not that I didn't flash it on Pop. I didn't actually flash it on nobody. He 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 peeped me, pull it out. Shook uh -huh. saw when I pulled it out. Cause I wasn't trying to brandish it. I tried to slide it behind me. But he was like, oh, he got a strap. Ah. And that's when a hey, dudes had to get somewhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because um it could it's a big parking lot. We didn't know it was police. Probably some rolls of cars away when he said it. So they start 
So we hopped in the joint, but plus Big had a show anyway in North Carolina. Yeah. So that they had to fly out. And then they started saying, Oh, we ran him out. No, no, no. Yeah, you already nah, had a flight. Yeah, you already that's yeah. why that's why we were leaving. Yeah. Yeah. That's when that's we, that's where I think Suge was very good. He was very good at manipulating the media. With lies. <laughs> I mean that's what that, that's that's what most people most people yeah. in, in in position lie. Yeah. I mean just yeah. being honest, like most of them, because they got an agenda to push. Yeah. Whether it's politics, music, sports, like commentators, sports commentators. Yeah. They going. They'll say they had a source when they just made up a story. Yeah. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? So true. most people in those true. positions yeah. lie in order to push their agenda. How many times have you seen Tupac in person? Just that time. Just that time. Just that time. Because I like, I was incarcerated when they were when 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 they were tight. So I was in jail. So I, I called Big one time, and he was at the crib. I spoke to him, and he just you know pretty much yo know, hold your head. You know what I'm saying? See you when you get home or whatever. You know what I mean? Just just showing support, whatever, whatever. But I ain't I never saw him until the Soul Train Award. And by that time they were And it was it, like honestly it was all on Pac's side. Mm. Like the not not liking each other. Mm. And I don't even I like honestly I don't really think Pac ain't like him. It was just Young, naive. Upset. You upset on something that neither you or Big had control of. You know what I'm saying? What do you think he was upset about? When he got raw. In New York? Yeah. At Quad Studio. No, he got shot there. Yeah, he got raw, though. Oh, so he was upset because of that is what you're saying. I mean, that's... that that. So, so Biggie, to your knowledge, Biggie or his crew, none, none of them was involved I ain't in that. No, to my knowledge, I know that for a fact. Ain't nobody involved in that. That was a yeah. freak accident. Because then Tupac comes out with an interview and he says, I'm in prison and I hear people saying, they going around saying, yeah, we did it, da, 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 da. Rumors. I don't know who was telling him that. It wasn't nobody that know anybody. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. It's like, like I said, dude... Dudes that say anything to get props, mm. everything. Mm. You know? So. Yeah, respect. What's your what's your relationship like with P. Diddy? Yeah, I like I ain't got no I ain't got no I don't know, beef with him. No beef with him. Did you like him? Um we used to go back and forth. Yeah, okay. But that was that was kind of by design by Big. Got ya. Because my co-defendant, Rock, was, he had a better relationship with Puff. He had a cool relationship with Puff. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, Puff would always call him when he was trying to get big to do something. Got ya. Because he knows it's not going to get it through you. No, I was, I was, in, I was in prison at oh, the you time. Were in prison? Okay. So when I came home, that's why I said it was by design. Got ya. Big was like, yo, don't be cool with this thing. Rock already be cool with it. So when I got beef with the nigga, you got beef with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? So he can get, it, it, it's like, damn. All right, if Cuzzo mad at him, he going to go talk to Rock. Then Rock can go to Big. You know what I'm saying? Damn. And Big get the, you know what I'm saying? Manipulate a situation yeah. Yeah. in his favor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Big told you, don't be cool with, don't be cool with Puff. You're on my side. If me and him, what did what did Big secretly think of Puff? Was he like this guy's, like stealing I mean, money from me? He 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 he, he, he fucked with him, but he knew it was business. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You know how you could be. It's like you know we doing business, but you do got some. I I I, I do fuck with you. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Even though. When doing business, we not going. We we. I'm. I want to. I'm. I know you looking to take advantage, mm. and I'm trying to do the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, business has to be win-win. 
both parties have to win. So if Big was winning and Puff was winning, I get it. But the closeness was more shown on media than in real life, you think? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't, you know, I can't go in Big Mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't, this is one thing, I, it wasn't as tight as yeah. people would assume. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, you know, you holding money for me. Yeah. So. You sure you give me all of it? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's you like, I mean? yeah, yeah. I Like, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Because especially after the fact that he had to sell some of his publishing to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now it's a, it's, 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 it, we got a relationship, but it's a business relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it wasn't, it, it, it wasn't like <sighs> I'm going to do, like, it wasn't like he would do for us. Sure. You understand sure. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different yeah. relationship. Not yeah. saying that he ain't fuck with him, but it's limits. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's limits. You've been to P. Diddy's parties yeah. and stuff like that. Was it wild? The shit they're saying now, is it like, did you see it? Well, no, nah, hell no. Nah, it's all I, like that. I definitely not. I, I, that shit would have been out. Mm, ages ago. Uh, yeah. Um, what were the parties crazy? Nah, not outside of like I remember we going to the some of the first white his first white parties in the Hamptons. You know what I'm saying? This Damn. what 98, 99. Yeah. And like first of all, I come from a like I'm not going in nobody's crib and wandering around. That's number one. Yeah. So I would never be able to see. None of that shit. Yeah. People was talking about. Cause yeah. I'm not wandering somebody around somebody crib. Yeah. Like I'm going to the bathroom, yeah. kitchen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I'm staying there and I got a room, that's a, that's my limit of of fun. That's me. So I would never, I would have never learned no shit like that because oh, yeah. that's not like I'm not roaming around nobody fucking crib like yeah, that. Yeah. That's weird to me. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then I'm like, like I would, I could never understand a dude saying, "Well, he kicked everybody out, and it was just us." The fuck, I want to be like, why I want to hang just with you, my nigga? I'm out of here. Yeah, you see what I'm yeah. saying? So like all, all those situations, like I can't ever be fit in any of those categories yeah. to see nothing like that because one, I'm not roaming nobody crib, mm. and number two. Once you start kicking people out, I'm included in that. Mm. When you look back, because you've seen a lot, you've seen a lot. When you look back, is there something you regret? Regret? What? As far as... No, nah, I can't. Like, I may... I, I may... I feel remorse. For anything I did that but I can't regret it because if I ain't go through because like most of the stuff I you know pay the price. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I lost homies, you mm. know what I mean, all that. So but I feel remorse, number one, for homies homies that I had under the meat losing their life. Mm. Um stuff like that. Yeah. You know and I mean, um, so I feel remorse, but if I if I change anything, then I wouldn't be, I wouldn't never grow. Remember we was talking about what you have to go through in order to grow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh So it's a remorseful for yeah. any 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 negative acts. Yeah. I feel remorse, but you can't regret regret is like Yeah. I feel I feel different, like it's a difference. In yeah. my in my thinking, regret as opposed to remorse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't feel good about anything you did in a bad way, but if you didn't experience these things, then you would never grow yeah. to the, be the human being you are. Yeah. 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 Sure. Very sure. Where? Because you were in prison when Big died. When Big got shot. Yeah. How did you hear about it? Um. I was in the Beacon. That's on Rikers Island. Yeah. 
I was in seven block. Early in the morning, a dude, my next door neighbor banged on the wall, told me to cut on the radio. He was like, yo, your man got shot. So I'm like, what? He's like, yo, your cousin got shot. So I'm like, what? So he was like, cut on the radio. So I cut on the radio, Ice T on the radio. It's when Ice T is on Hot 97. He, I, I don't know, I don't remember who he's talking to. I think it's Angie Martinez or whatever. That's how you know. If he's talking about it, that's how you know. So it's boom, we're not locked out yet. So the phones is not on. So they talking about. It. So I'm, you know, I'm anxious. I'm anxious to get out and get on the phone. But we locked in ourselves, so you can't get on the phone. So they call breakfast and all that. So we get the breakfast. Seven block. They feed you in. They feed you in the um, cell block. I'm waiting on the phones to cut on. So we, phones finally cut on. I call his crib. His uncle answered the phone and said, Miss Wallace went to L.A. That's when I knew. Like, mm. I, ain't, I ain't have to say no more. Yeah. You know, I ain't have to talk to nobody else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What was your reaction as soon as you heard that? I was sick. It's like all the air got let out. Mm. I mean, mm. I like. I think I ended up getting it on that day. Fighting. Yeah. I mean, because at that time on Rikers Island, like. The blacks, the blacks and the and, and the Puerto Ricans and Dominicans was getting into a heavy. Yeah, okay. So I think I I think I did something to a Spanish kid. Cause somebody I, I know I remember what it was. The dude was like, his fat ass shouldn't have been out there. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And I think dude, like, dude, you know, you dudes is fans or whoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he ain't know. Yeah. Wild on him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Try something. Hmm? Try something. No, he, like, he didn't know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Dudes are just talking about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he just, cuz just said, like, his fat ass shouldn't have been out there. You know what I mean? Just, we just, we in the hallway. Yeah. We, we coming from the yard. I remember yeah. we coming from the yard. Yeah. He yeah. just he just yapping. You know what I'm saying? He's not no like I ain't trying to get nobody investigated or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I wanna get mine. Listen, he's already in. <laughs> it might come on. It might Still come on. <laughs> it might come on. How many times have you met Shug in person? I seen him that one time at the soul. That one time. Big nigga. I was about to say that. Big nigga. Big nigga. So Big, nah, huh? he likes he like he he him and Big around the same was around the same size, but he was Tall. no muscular. Yeah, he had more muscle than Big. Like mm -hmm. he was like he had he like he was a fat nigga. But you know how the fat niggas be yoked up. He was like that. Yeah, he got he got the chest and the arms, everything else, but he got the gut. Yeah, nah. Wow. He, that we definitely wouldn't fight. He get popped. Wow. Off the rip, cuz. Cause Big was big. Yeah. Big was tall. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying him and Big was around the same height. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, he's yeah. arms bigger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because Big was 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 was, 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 was yeah, yeah, exactly. More muscle. Big ain't I, work out. I, I mean fish. Smoke and fuck, my nigga. Do you know, know, what do you know like fish? Hmm? Fish. Fish. This oh, guy yeah, on yeah, the yeah, block. So when I met Fish, he was telling me some Biggie stories. B Fish is tall. And Fish said Biggie was the same height as me. No. But he was big. He was fat. Big was shorter than Fish. Fish is 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, he's tall. Big was six, what, six, two and a half, six, three? Okay. So him and Sugar was yeah. around the same height, but Sugar, like I said, Sugar, Chad, like, yeah. that's how you could tell. It's like Big is a, is, is a fat dude. Yeah. He a fat dude that... You tell that nigga I lifted some weights and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I mean, 
If nigga had to fight him, he gonna fight him. You know what I mean? Other than that, nigga, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get stuck or yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You listen, make anyone angry. Anyone's gonna fight anyone. Tell me a story you've never told anyone. It's during that era. Tell me a story. I don't know if I told anybody about when him and Dame was battling. Like it was, it was like it was. Damn, the Mirage. We was in the, this club that was on, I think, fifty six. Okay. Between the West Side and Eleventh, around that time. So it's funny because it, it was a few things going on that night. So. Big and Dan, it, it's Valentine's Day. So Big Mom's is there and everything. So Big had a joint. After this, we start calling his mink the stink mink. Because <laughs> they start battling drinking. You know what I'm saying? So they drinking champagne, but it's champagne. They, they, it's Don, it's Don Pete and Chris Stapp. So they going back and forth. We at the table, mind you, we at the table with the Indiana Pacers. We with the little dude Workman. Well, he not little, but I'm saying yeah. he's the guard. He's the show. Yeah. Workman, Reggie, and the Davis brothers. Okay. This is when all of them was on the Indiana page. They sitting at the table with us. We smoking. You know what I'm saying? So Reggie like, mm, that shit smell good. Yeah. So um, Nino, Nino was like, nah. He's like, man, nah, hell no. Nah. Uh, I'm an athlete. Yeah, he said, man, I'm a, I'm, I'm a role model. You can't yeah, pass yeah. that shit to me right now. He said, give me a little piece on the side. <laughs> <laughs> he said, give me a little piece on the side. <laughs> the shit happened like, no, we fucked up. Yeah. That Reggie Miller is yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? He's yeah. like, that shit smell good. Yeah. So, you know, we not, we not knowing at this time yeah. that them niggas smoke like that. Yeah. So, going on with that, during this time, Big and Dane, they going back and forth. Boom, 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 boom. So boom. Big is so drunk. Big got an earl. Dane turned his head. We, we, we in a booth where it's a it's a curtain. So big pulled the curtain back. Earl right quick. Boom. Came back. They were saying who was they they battling to see who was gonna earl. Yeah. Big cheated. Yeah, big cheated. Slid Earl, boom, came back. He fresh now. Yeah, he yeah. fully fresh. Yeah. They keep going, boom, they ain't fell out. Earl fell out. <laughs> so big ended up winning. I don't know what they was betting. I don't even yeah. know if they was betting any money, but yeah. that was just in that whole little situation. Like yeah. I said, we got Reggie Miller, the Davis brothers, and all them, and yeah. these this shit going on. Then I and I think we end up whooping something out that night. Okay. What do you mean? Get into a fight? Yeah. Oh, that see, it was a, it was a combination of dudes would hate, you know what I'm saying, and a combination of us still being immature, like having a full street mentality. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like because you you you. You know, yeah. we had it like if we'd have been more mature, big would I, I don't think big would have you know got killed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we'd have been thinking mm. more mature. But we you wouldn't have up anyways. You couldn't have done anything to keep him safe. No, I'm just saying. Well, I probably wouldn't have got locked up if I was True. thinking more mature. True. True. Because I ain't give a fuck. True. Good point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like I would literally. Yeah. Go see my PO and we on the road. Like, I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah. Now, mind you, in New York State, you're not supposed to leave the five boroughs without permission from your parole officer. I went to Amsterdam. Like, I'm in LA, North Carolina, Man. South Carolina, Florida. Like, I'm all over, literally. That's what I'm saying. I wasn't giving a fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He, in the song, Biggie wrote a song. <laughs> What's beef? All right. <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. Yeah, that's a fact. Hey, put, put your name in it. Uh, so you got to fuck your kids, throw them off a bridge. 
I heard for two weeks you didn't speak to him because you're living together. I heard yeah. you were pissed off at him. You weren't speaking to him for two weeks. Yeah, saying, that's a fact. I mean, it's like so when you, he was when talking you live, to you, you weren't talking to him. Yeah, you 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 live with somebody, you know what I'm saying, and that's like your brother. So is is y'all gonna go on with life? You know what yeah. I'm saying? We're going to do everything together. Yeah. I just ain't fucking with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm I'm going to go to the studio. Nobody going to say nothing to you, blah, 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 blah. But I'm not fucking with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want no weed. I don't want, you know what I'm saying? Don't buy me nothing to eat. None of that. You know what I'm saying? That's where we was at for like two weeks. Two you know weeks. what I'm saying? I'm in the car. Nigga, I ain't, <laughs> yo, you want to, yo, you heard this? Nah, I ain't hear nothing, man, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or I just egg him. Yeah. yeah. This nigga still mad. You know what I'm saying? Till one day, like, we was in the kitchen. And his fat ass come downstairs. And, like, my, my, like, it was two things that I used to always get. Either Eggo waffles or cereal. Niggas used to call me cereal killer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. Cereal is good. So. Cereal is good. I'm, I'm, I'm eating, a, I'm eating some, some, some waffles. He come downstairs, throw the joint. He like, hey, bro, you still mad at me? And that's that broke it. That's how it broke it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's still mad. Why wouldn't he just take it out? Nah, he wasn't going to do that. He wasn't. Why? Stubborn? Only, the only person that I seen that get big to change something was Puck. Wow. Like, ain't, like, did you see what he said about fate? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like nobody like you just gonna have to deal with whatever this nigga said. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got yeah. Like and then like, but it's not even true. What nah. he said about you is not yeah, true. Nah, but it, it's like he tried to explain it like I he was to make you kids. To make you make yeah. you like this ill. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, I yeah. just came home from prison. Yeah, so you making me look like number one a pedophile and a homo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like yeah, but. Like Big said, wow, shit. Yeah, yeah. But but he made you look like the rot wheel that is, that is like, I'll let him loose. I'll let him loose and he'll kill me. Yeah, that's you. what he's saying. You like, he's mean? like, you the illest. Like, yeah. he went, I'm like, bro, that's like, that's not the illest nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, in my mind, that's not the illest nigga. But, but what he's saying is, what's more precious to you than your kids? Nothing. He will take your kids. He will fuck them and throw them off a bridge. <laughs> Yo, he was funny. It was no, funny. Big, yeah, big was. It was funny. But see, that was that was that was like basically. <laughs> if you want to hang around us, and you can't take a joke, yeah. You like, because that's all we did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you got to think about it. We hustling. So you you st you you standing around. You gotta pass the time. You gotta do something and not make yourself look hot. Yeah. Even though we look hot because we teenagers standing the same, basically on the same block all day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Police know what's going on. Yeah. But we gotta make, you know, we gotta pass the time because we out here, you gotta remember, we teenagers. Yeah. We teenagers doing criminal activity that's yeah. gonna get you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we out here, pass the time, we cracking jokes. Yeah. That's how we, you know, we can smoke, crack jokes on yep. each other all day and debate hip hop. Mm. That that was our shit. Mm. You know what I mean? I play, me and O play sports. So if I wanted to go play ball, I'd break out and go play ball. You know what I'm saying? But if we just stand there all day, we're going to talk about clothes, hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And whatever we doing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You were with him when the Hit Him Up track came out. Yeah. What was the vibe? What was the energy? Was it was it anger? Was it like, yo, we need to get him back? Was it like, fuck this guy? What was the vibe? What was the energy? For for me, just in the room. For me, I'm like, fuck this. Thing. But you know what I'm saying? Big was like hurt, like, but like, like, damn. Oh, that's. You like this this is what we doing, like you you, you taking a hit. But Big didn't like honestly, Big didn't think Cuz could fuck with him lyrically. Like 
rapping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he know, homie, go hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I remember he told me, he wrote, um, what's the name of the song? I think I Get Around. Yeah, I Get he Around. Said, yeah, he said he was with him. He wrote I Get Around in like 10 minutes. Or, or I can't remember what song he told me. Well, he was like, he in the bathroom on the shit up, wrote a song, came out and finished the song. Wow. So homie is a, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he know how to write, and he know how to write songs. Yeah. But like you got some people yeah. that are lyricists, but they're not good songwriters. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Homie was a good, great songwriter. Yeah. That nigga, he had songs I love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of course. And then, you know, with me, I had a personal thing to it because deuces called me Bishop. So I used to hate that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, first of all, I'm older than this nigga. You don't <laughs> I don't look like him, he look like me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had a I had a personal take because I used to I used to hate Nino to this day still call me Bishop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cracking jokes on me. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so, but like I said, big would like, but big one they get back at him, but like Puff ain't want him to. So Puff stopped him. Not really, because he he had a song, he 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 had a song with Bus, but it ain't come out. But they eventually put it out later, like the diamond on my neck, chrome yeah. drop chop. You know what I'm saying? But he wasn't going. He wasn't going to do nothing on his album. Yeah. Okay. I wish I was in that room where the song came out and you're all there and listening for the first time. I just want to see what that would look like. So he was hurt. You were angry. Like let's kill him, right? Yeah, everybody. Uh, I think everybody else like he. And I don't. I don't say like hurt. Like oh man, it's like. Damn. Yeah. It's like, you know how it's, it's, it's your homeboy. Your yeah. homeboy just, you turn your back, he done bust you in the back of the head. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, even though, like, Big didn't take what Pac was giving out serious. Yeah. Because Big was like, yo, he, he, doing his, he doing his bishop shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He doing his bishop shit. It's like, yo, like, he don't, he, man, that nigga love me, man. Yeah. This is literally big. You should be saying this. I said, man, that nigga know he loved me. If you like this video, consider subscribing. We do weekly podcasts with experts in every industry to help you find direction and guide you on your way. Now let's get back into it. Shit. So this is a block. So who are you listening to now? Uh oh, right now? Yeah. In the new, in the new hip hop. Right, right now, yeah. I'm listening to Kendrick shit. Oh, now, yeah. I'm not like us and Euphoria. You're on that side That's of the fence. That's my two favorite songs. You're on that side of the fence. Yeah, hell yeah. What memories do these streets bring you? When you walk here, do you have memories that come? Do you have flashbacks? I could tell you everything that was, because I, I'm always out here. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? I'm always down my way. So, you know. But like when you cut me out, by the way, what do you think of gentrification? Because I feel like after it's been, I it, feel like gentrification. Uh, I mean, it, see, I'm not going it, 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 to, it, it had, it had some positive aspects. Because they felt once white people came around, they can clean it up. Like with us, they didn't care. They didn't care how yeah. it looked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They didn't care like being that they around now. Yeah. It's not going to be no abandoned lot without yeah. somebody doing some construction on it. Back when I was little, they ain't give a fuck. All these shits could be lots and they ain't give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the only good thing. The bad thing is... That There's no culture now, anymore. No culture. Uh, no, you still got... You, people Because people still here. Well, let, let's go you back. Still, let's go back 20 years. What would the streets here be like? Would there be kids running around throwing balls, having fun? Now it's just quiet. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Because it's been gentrified. Yeah, because it is is the white kids don't do what we do. You know what I mean? Sure. Like we're gonna be outside, like they cause they they kids is out here, but they not outside like how we used to be outside. Sure. You know what Got I'm saying? Got ya. Got ya. Cause we Got ya. honestly we getting kicked out the crib too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ain't yeah. <laughs> you know, after a certain time, especially on the weekend. 
take your ass outside. You get caught for something? 226, here it is. So we're sitting here, we're at Biggie's house, 226. This would bring, I mean, you lived here. Yeah. What level were you guys on? 3L. 3L? What does that mean? Left. Left. So very top. Left, you got left and right. <laughs> so you got very top. One, one L, one R. Two L, two R. Three L, three R. Four L, four R. So, so one before the top on the left. Is there elevators here? No. So no, Biggie no. would have to go to the stairs every day. Yeah. And this was crazy. It's like when we was hustling, right? We would be going up the stairs all night. So that's how that's how we got one of our like one of our um because you kept going up and down up and down yeah we got one of our sitting down like she sat down sat us down it's like boo, 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 boo. that's why I said she was her and my mother was green they didn't yeah understand they, they they didn't know what we were doing yeah they just think we like she know we ain't did something ain't right yeah but she couldn't you know what I'm saying yeah. she don't you know she was what I'm naive saying? exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because neither, neither one of our parents were involved in any type of street activity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At all. Like, yeah. not, not dealing with a dude that was yeah. in the streets or nothing. So yeah. they didn't come from that background. Yeah. Damn. That's interesting. They didn't, they didn't know that at all. But, I mean, in the movie, which I know you haven't finished... You, you watch half of it or none of it? I watched like I watched the part. I, wa I watched the part with my nephew. Oh, with with with, 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 with CJ. Yeah. With I wanted to see him. Yeah. I watched that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that was and <laughs> yeah, I wanted to see him. Yeah. That yeah, was yeah. it. It was like yo, because somebody told me it's like yo, his son in the joint. He gonna play him when he look. I'm like word, because I like. You know, I got locked up in 01. CJ was four. Mm. Four. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So and he wasn't living up here. So yeah. we were, I wasn't seeing him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was staying with Faith. So I wasn't seeing him on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just me seeing him at that age. Because he had to be about, what, nine, ten at the time? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a little older. Probably about 12, 13. Where are they now? Are they in New York? Um... His kids. T -T, yeah, TT, TT. I don't know where it's, CJ got, I know he got a place out in um, Cali. You okay. know what I'm saying? But I don't know if he got a place up here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he, he, international man of mystery now. Yeah, okay. Neff <laughs> everywhere. Um, yeah. Well, it's Big Son. Yeah, big, I, as I love he it. Should. No, I love it. I as love he it. should. I love, I love, I love seeing Neff do his thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is he rapping? No, no, no. No. Well, shit. Before, I think when he was younger, he was he was he was doing. But he, yeah. I think he did that, did the acting shit. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? But he got a. Um, it was great in the movie. He got he got the um, Frank White company now. And well, the real estate. No, it's a. Um, he got a cannabis company. Oh, a cannabis company. Yeah, and he sell merch too. So yeah. That's dope. He be everywhere. Like they, he be everywhere. He be making moves. Right now, in the summertime, this shit would have been packed. Uh, yeah, that's that's the difference. That's the difference. That's the difference. And, like, the prices. Because now people are it's under the assumption, the business owners around have been around under the assumption that the white people is going to pay more. So now they're charging everybody everything they raised up. I mean, it's inflation anyway, yeah. but even before that, all the prices in the neighborhood raised up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because now the the, 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 Yeah. So now we get subjected. The people, the people that's, that, that live around here that don't have the funds, they get denied yeah. certain shit. Yeah. Because now it's too expensive. Yeah. I mean. So Cost you, of living. They fuck, see, they fuck it up for people that still had the cost of living from before. They didn't raise the cost of living. So you don't you don't sit here and think to yourself, I remember this that happened over there. I remember when that happened over there. Shit, I remember. I remember. Cheek used to live in this building first. That one there, the middle yeah. one. Yeah. Two hundred one. He used to live right there first. It was a tenement. 
Okay. They kick they they whoever bought the joint, they end up moving across the street to 222, I think. That's 222, 24. Yeah. Yeah, Cheek moved to 222. This is 88 summer. They moved. Yeah. What they, they, it was a tenement apartment. Them, the homie Bird was living over there, him and his family. They All of them moved. So now you got people that have been living in this area for 20, 30 years. Now all of them is gone. So you didn't change the whole demographics of yeah. the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in like that summer. Yeah. That's summer '88. That's when that's when they first hit. Yeah. That's when they on crib. Yeah. That's when they first started, huh? Yeah. 1988. That's when you were born. That's when we okay. first. That's when our first. Because you got to remember, this this neighborhood was mixed before. Because down there you got you got Pratt Institute. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But this side was majority all African American. You know what I'm saying? All Caribbean, yeah. Uh, African, Afro Caribbean. Yeah. That was the majority of people. All and you had Africans too. Yeah. Because we got we got a lot of Senegalese up and down Fulton Street. Yeah. Senegalese and people from Guinea. You know what I'm saying? And they've been here for years. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So they they've been here for years. Yeah. So, but that was the majority of the people on this side. Yeah, okay. And then once they start gentrifying this area. Yeah, I don't know. I wish I could see what it looked like 20 years ago. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to nah, visualize it, it through your eyes. It was eyes. gentrified 20 years ago. Well, 30 years ago. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Yeah, you got it. You got to go ago. about, 30. let me see. Nah, I got to go about 40. Damn. I go about 40, girl. So the early 80s. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. I mean, it's still, it's because it started in 80, it's, I see it started in 88, so about 35. About yeah. 35, about 35 years ago, then yeah. you, you, you see the black neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. As opposed to the mixed neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this. You know what I'm saying? So you can't really tell what it is back then, it's so messed up now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like you knew you was you like back you then you knew back then you knew you was in a black neighborhood. Now now it's not like you, that. Th yeah, it's a mixed neighborhood. Now. Would there be cars parked up like the hill? Hell yeah, different kind of cars. You gotta know that era. Certain cars that's what was out sometimes. A lot of Falcons. He was getting money, and that car was lit. The fuck yeah. is a Falcon? That car was hit. Yeah, the old OG cars, the Falcons. Falcon? You talking about Thunderbird? I think so. No. I gotta pull up a photo. You gotta be talking about Thunderbird. What car was, was, was back then a lot here? Back then? In the 80s? See, because Brooklyn, you had, you had, like I said, you had the, you got the Caribbeans and you got the, you got the um, Black Americans. So a lot of the black Americans was driving caddies. Okay. Yeah. Nine eights. Yeah. Delta eighty eights. Um. Regals. Like in the mid eighties, dudes is on like 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 the African American. Niggas is driving Regals, Cuddies, um, cut the Sierras. Um. Like we like. Up here they didn't do they didn't do Impalas. You know what I'm saying? It was like it was like nine eights. Like up here it was like nine eights, eighty eights. It was Oldsmobiles. Sure. Oldsmobiles. Sure. That's that that's one thing, Damn. that's what I noticed. It was mostly up here was Oldsmobile. To us, we used to call them niggas old school fools. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, we was young, because that's when, that's when the foreigns, yeah, that's yeah. when, that's when the foreigns hit, yeah, up here, yeah, late 80s, the foreigns, and yeah. even, like, for us, the foreigns was Hondas, Jettas, because we yeah. was teenagers, Acuras, yeah. you know what I mean, um, Toyota, Toyota, um, Cressidas, Maximus, like, that was, that was, that was the shit that... Mazda 929s, um, 325, because you got to think about it. We was young, bro. We teenagers. We not thinking about big Benzes. Like, we not thinking on that lines because we also knew 
what you could spend. So the young dudes knew like 9,000 was like the limit. If you want to run in and just buy a new car, 9,000 is the limit. You can't spend more than 10,000. So dudes is getting Honda Accords, Maxima, shit like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's in the price range. So they they know they not going, they, the police, even though the police still, like, a nigga in the car up here was, Probably. yeah, yeah. Any, like, I don't get, Let's I don't care, a nigga like, in a car, doing? period. Problem. Problem. Why? Like, especially a young nigga in a car. Like, what are you doing? Ah, I, I see. see. How you I get see. a car? Yeah, yeah I yeah, see. Yeah. I see. How did you get a car? You got to understand, like, how racist. Like, people don't think New York is racist, especially back then. You you might see one black police in a precinct. Everything you know else. On. Everything That's else. It. Everything else was white. You might see one black, one Puerto Rican. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, it might be, I, like you in a precinct, you might see five non white boys. You know what I'm saying? Back then when I was coming up. Yeah. Five yeah. non-white boys. Yeah. So you already know what you get. Yeah. Yeah. You already know what yeah. you get. I, I I give it to you like this. Is and, 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 and anybody my age or older, born in America, unless their parents taught them not to be racist, is racist. Mm. Any white person born in America, mm. my age and older, unless they were taught. Not to be racist is racist. Mm. You brought up in a racist school system. Mm. So they teaching you racism. Mm. And they teach us racism. Yeah. That's why black people be having low self-esteem. Yeah. And if we don't have low self-esteem until we get into the educational system. Mm. We'll come in with high self-esteem. The educational system, we'll learn shit and motherfuckers will have a, a perception of themselves that's lower than what they came in with. Yeah. I mean, when yeah. you when you when you talk hip hop, when you talk rap, Big is always top five in everyone's conversation, right? Uh, did you know he was gonna be that great? Um, see, this is the thing. When we were younger, like when we was hustling, I never heard Big rap. Really? I heard him rap before we started hustling. Like once we start hustling, he would be he would be writing because this is when he was still writing. He would be writing, but he would never let me hear nothing. He was like, "Yo, I'm gonna do a joint about Midtown." I'd be like, "Word, let me hear." <laughs> never hear nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we'd be on the block, you try to give him the right, yeah. do a joint, boom. But what he would do is, no, I did hear him, but I did, like he wouldn't just rap. For me. We'll go because that used to be a Masonic temple. Across the street, one ninety seven, a Masonic temple. What's a Masonic? Um, What's Ma the? Masonic Lodge. Masons. Masons. Oh, the Masons. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they used to be a Masonic temple. Okay. So they used to have, they used to throw parties in there. So if we go to a party, that's when Big sure. would rap. Got yeah. He not rap like yeah. the only one other time he rapped is Jazz O came down the way. I don't know what he was down the way, but but. We would, because it used to be right around the corner, it used to be a weed spot called Pops. Right. So we was coming out of Pops, and Jazz O was just standing there for some reason. Big C was like, yo, that, I didn't know who he was. You know what I'm saying? Big knew who he was. He was like, yo, that's Jazz O. Bah, 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 bah. I heard of Jazz O, but I didn't hear none of his music at the time. You know what I'm saying? Because he was underground at the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is 88. Yeah. But he's known in Brooklyn. So we see him. Big was like, yo, I rap, blah, blah, blah. So I don't remember exactly what, how it, the verbiage, but Big end up spitting. Jazz spit. Big spit again. And Jazz like, all right, boo, 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 boo. To me, Big got him. But I'm biased. Yeah. You got to think about it. This, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I still feel Big got him. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't no battle. Right, it was just more or less. It was just that, yeah. He was like, oh, word, you rap? rap. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was yeah. like, you rap? Yeah. But I was like, but I knew, I knew the second time Big spit, he didn't, he wasn't like. Expecting that kind of feedback. No, he yeah. wasn't, the second time Big spit, it wasn't like he was making a diss record, but it was like, I'm. he's trying to, his second joint was trying to be better than what Jazz spit. 
Got ya. You see what I'm saying? Mm, it was exactly. like, I'm trying to out, yeah. You yeah. yeah, I'm trying to out do yeah. that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's why I was like, oh, nah, he got him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I said, I'm biased, well, he felt but. That too. Huh? He felt that too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was that, that was the only time like I ever seen big rap on the streets. Yeah. Like when we outside, well, like when we was outside hustling, we was hustling. This is like, he's not. He wasn't like we was in the rap, but we would be spitting other people raps. Yeah, okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't yeah. more like the artist. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. He was like the outside. Yeah, we outside. Yeah. yeah. We because like this is this is the time with um you gotta think about it. Kane, KRS, and Cool G rap around this time was the hottest shit out in the city. I can't right. speak for, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I'm talking about in the five boroughs. Right. They was the hottest thing out. KRS, Rock Him, and, and, and Cool G Rap. Road to the Riches came out. Nigga, we used to spit the whole album. Bam. You know what I'm Seriously saying? Bam. Um, by any means necessary, hmm. whole album. You know what I'm saying? Edutainment, not, not edutainment. Blueprint of hip hop. Mm. Whole other, like that was my dude. Mm. Oh, oh, and Rock Kim, I forgot. And Rock Kim. Did you hear Rock Kim again? Nah, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, 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 you used to spit all the Rock Kim shit. Hello, fellas. How you doing? Biggie Smalls here, yeah? Yeah. This, this used to be Biggie Smalls' house. Yeah, I came from London yesterday. Okay. I watch all these films with a lot of music. It's like every picture. Yeah. <laughs> Old favorite artist was Rakim. Yeah. My favorite artist was Carol. Like, we loved all of them, but yeah. out, of the, out of the ones that we, that was our joint. So I would be spitting a KRS One verse. Like, we would be yeah. debating. Yeah. So Big would always be spitting a, a, a Kane verse. Yeah. And O would be always spitting a yeah. Rakim verse. But we always just spit cool G rap shit. Like that was our street yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. the other three joints yeah, weren't yeah. really street drug get, dealer yeah. music. Yeah, I get yeah. Road to the riches, that was drug dealer music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Rock Kim and Kane, that yeah. was lyricism. Rock Kim, Kane, and, and and it was lyricism. Like cool G rap was street. That was talking to us with uh, to what we were doing at the time. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know that grainy video of a young Biggie rapping with the liquor sign, the yellow liquor sign behind him? He's on oh, the streets. He, he <clears throat> when he battling? Yeah. No, I was in jail. Okay. I was, I was, I was, I was in prison. What was that? Time. That was on Bethany and Quincy. Okay. That so, was so on Bethany and Quincy. When did Jay-Z come into the mix? Because people associate them to be connected or... To have a relationship, or when did they meet? Well, I don't know how they when they first because they went to school together. Like I think Big was in the tenth grade when Jake was in the twelfth, or or some like yeah. I I know they was in um, Western House at the same time. Yeah, they went there and and, and bus too, but I don't know if they ever met then. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I think Big was familiar with him because Big. All right, Jay had a homeboy named Half. Big and Half used to get into it. You know what I'm saying? So they may have had, you know what I'm saying, some type of um, connection between that. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Because I didn't go to Western House. I yeah. was, you know what I'm saying? I went yeah. to Prospect Heights. Then I... Lit after that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, but... When when I know for sure that they linked up, it was when I came home. It had to be either the end okay. of '95 or the beginning of the beginning of '96. Yeah, that I know for sure that they linked up because that's when Big Big he hollered at Big to do the Brooklyn's Finest. Yeah. Wow. So he hollered, He told him to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He got in touch with he he got he got up with Big. Have you met Jay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few times. Nah, yeah, definitely. That like out of any besides Puff, out of anybody else, I've been around Jay more than anybody else. Okay. Like any other 
yeah. rapper that big had yeah. a outside of our people, outside yeah. of the yeah. locks, mace, yeah. Yeah. and all of them. Yeah. And outside of that, outside of Bad Boy, the dude that been around us more than anybody was was, was Jay. Jay. Okay. And I'm saying What's like, he like? Brooklyn. He cool. Good guy? I mean Jay, like Jay got a Jay got a sense of humor, but a quiet sense of humor. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like. He'll he'll say, and you you gotta know. You gotta. It's 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 like it's it's sort of like a a, a Dave Chappelle humor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, where he can hit you, and if you don't catch it. Oh well. Yeah, it's over your it's it's over your head. Over your head. You know what I'm saying? It's over your head. You know what I'm saying? Cause. Um, Jay a smart dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's cool. Never had, like, he always been cool. You know, back then, hip-hop was such a dangerous sport. You could lose your life. Now, do you feel like it's lost the violence to it? What do you, what do you think about it now compared to how it was? Because you've seen it how it was. For real, for real, that was a... It, it 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 really wasn't as dangerous as, well, <laughs> damn, because you got to think about it. I'm I'm from a different environment, so something mm. that like it wasn't it wasn't dangerous to me because I was out I was out here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I was. Yeah, you knew people. They knew you. No, it's not even that. Is it's like. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. It wasn't, it's not that. It was just that I was in a, a criminal environment for years. So the rap game, like it wasn't dangerous to me. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. But for somebody that didn't come up in that type of environment, yeah, I could see it. Mm. I could see it being dangerous for them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're dealing with street elements. Mm. Like if you're dealing with hip hop, you're dealing with, you're gonna, you're gonna come across street elements. Mm. Because this is where it comes from. Yeah. Not from the criminal element, but it comes from the street element. So the criminal element is in the street element. Yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, because that's why they tried to criminalize hip hop. Because it comes from the street element. And they try to equate hip hop with the criminal, with the criminals in the street element. Which uh, it, it don't correlate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying it don't mix. None of the none of the dudes I get y'all. initially wanted the criminals involved, but they don't have the power. Criminals had the money and they had the force. Mm. So the hip hoppers had to follow suit. They mm. had to basically Especially if you want to be saved. Yeah. 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 Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's the street dudes that allowed dudes to be able to do a show. Wow. And not and, like and, and, and and you know what I mean and not get taken advantage of. Got yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, it's like back in the days, you know how many yeah. robbers, you know how many rappers was getting robbed? Yeah. Bumba, that's cameras. Yeah. That in mind. Yeah, you ain't had no yeah. cameras and dudes wasn't putting it on the internet. Yeah, we got this dude. Yeah. But yeah. a lot of rappers up here got booked. Yeah. That word's spreading like wildfire. Yeah. Like he said, it wasn't on the internet like that. We post it. Yeah, I got this chain. Yeah, something like that. No, there was no phones back then. Yeah. People wanted autographs back then. You know, we're, we're in front of Big's house. You're here. We're with you. We're talking about Big's. You think he's with us in spirit right now? Oh, he where always, else would he be? He always would. Where else would he be? If you could choose to be anywhere right now, I where mean, else would he I be? Mean, he'd he be with, here. He, he, he with me in yeah. flesh and in spirit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. He with me everywhere. Yeah. So. I, ain't, I I never got to worry about that. You know yeah. what I mean, and you know, me I'm I'm big into you know talking with the ancestors. So he gone, he an ancestor now. So he always be. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I we holler. Yeah, yeah. You talk. Chop it up with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a fact. Damn. Yeah. We chop it up all the time. Damn. Yeah. And you got a lot on that side. Let's make a move. Let's go back to the barber, hey? Huh? Before uh, we have a line of people want autographs from you. Uh, were these memorials that they've uh, 
painted on the street for Biggie. When was that done? The one, the one on the corner. See this pharmacy. All right. You remember? I don't know if you remember the Source Award. Yeah. Remember when he took the picture when he was shooting dice? Yeah. It's right on this corner. That used to nah. be a liquor store. This the pharmacy on the now. Yeah. Right there. <clears throat> so last year, the dude did the mural. As we took pictures, we took pictures with the dude that did the mural. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that was right here? Yeah. Wow. Actually, this ain't had, it wasn't no gate right here. This is no gate All, here. Yeah. It was no gate right here. So it was actually over here. What was over here? The photo? Yeah. The, the, the photo was actually over here. Right here? Yeah, where he took the picture with the dice. Ah, I see. I know the photo you're talking about. I thought it was on the corner. No, it was over here. Like, right over here. He was standing about right here with the dice. My little cousin man was right there. Damn. Across the road. How have the shops changed? Like, what was here? Now it's a coffee shop. People are having bagels and coffee. This was an African restaurant. Okay. Well, like this African cuisines, yeah. FedEx spot was Haji's. Damn, Haji just passed by. It was a, it was a, it was a little old. Um, I think Haji Egyptian, an old Egyptian dude. He been, when we walked up the block, you see the little old man that, yeah, was, that, that was walking up to yeah. him. That's Haji. Haji owned that store and he owned a few other businesses over there. Haji been here for years. Damn. Haji used to mess with my man Buck White. Um, my man Buck Moms. Okay. So, what about this mural? Um, this is here before I came home. Okay. So, that was there a while. Is it not crazy to see what, what revolution your best friend did? Like, what? Shit, I seen that when it was happening. Yeah, I, I mean, it was amazing because it's like, you just, it's like, we, just, 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 when you see the effect he had and you remember... Y'all snapping on each other on the stoop. Mm. And the effect he have on people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's like, I, I, I always go back to, damn. Yeah, bro, I remember we were sitting on the stoop with rocks in our pockets. You know what I mean? And the effect you got on people now. But yeah. this is the thing. Like, once I heard him rap, like, once everybody heard him rap around here, dudes knew he was like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that was yeah. that was something that nobody was ever in denial yeah, right. of. You know what I'm saying? He confirmed it once he was spitting that shit. Yeah. Like once he got on, he like once he got on, people already knew. It's like like once yeah, once he cool. finally got the opportunity, everybody knew what it was. Yeah. Right. If you like this video, consider subscribing. We do weekly podcasts with experts in every industry to help you find direction and guide you on your way. Now let's get back into it. Talk to me about Kendrick and uh, Drake. Because I'm going to tell you something. I'm, I'm, I love rap, right? Like, I'm, I'm a nerd. I'm a fucking nerd when it comes to rap, right? I do, I, I'm doing this for my, like, pleasure. Like, this is a pleasure for me to Shit. be able... You got on Herman sneakers. Herman sneakers. I know you're doing it for pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> and I see that roadie. And then you definitely, you all right. Yo, I all feel right. you're doing all right. Like, yeah, you're doing all right. I, like, I suddenly don't feel safe. <laughs> hey, back doors are there. <laughs> what about that shit? You're in my hood. You good, girl. Um, so, yeah, I do, this is a tool for me to get people like you on to be able to speak to you and to pick your brains, right? So I love rap, right? I'm doing this selfishly. Uh, rap is an acronym for rhythm and poetry. It really is poetry. That's R.A.P. A, hold up. That's a dope ass. That's, that's a dope ass angle. Yeah. Rhythm and poetry. Yeah. It is that. No, nah, that's a fact. They, they're, they're Shakespeare. They're the modern day Shakespeare. That's how I look at it. Right. That's how I love rap. Right. Drake has got lines. He's got lines. He's got bars. You cannot discredit his catalog. His skill. I, I, I don't. See, this is what we're gonna go to. Yeah, well, you, you got you gotta doubt the skill. You gotta doubt the skill set. Because anytime you got reference tracks, see, this is the thing. Like I said, I'm I'm a hip hopper on the lyricist side. 
Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm a hip hop yeah. on on all things. <laughs> yeah, but I can't DJ, so I don't know the intricacies of, of making DJing. a beat. You know what I'm saying? Fashion and and and, and lyricism. Yeah, that I could speak on. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I did graffiti when I was little, but then, sure. you know, I didn't, that sure. wasn't a thing that I, though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I broke, you break dance when you're little, but after a while, it's like, that's why, that's why one of the, one of the, one of the things in hip hop where they was talking about, was it a African American creation? That's where that that's where I come in and say it's an African because with break dancing, that's like a phase for us. Cause we came up with dances every year. Okay. So break dancing was just a dance. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Hip hoppers came up with a dance every year, it don't matter where you was from in the United States. Yeah. Down south, you got the name there. You have yep. all that. You, Atlantic Bankhead Bounce. You, you, we have numerous hip hop dances that are not break dances. That we that 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 African, the Black American yeah. community created. Yeah. yeah. Outside of anybody else. Yes. Nobody else created these dances. No. So what? That's why I was saying. Speaking on, was it an African American creation? Yeah. That's a. Yeah. But as far as Drake, but you got MVPs like Eminem playing in the African American made sport. Yeah, yeah, no, that's as a lyricist. But we talking yeah. about the creation of it. The creation was yeah. a purely African American creation. Yes, because they try to you know bring in Jamaicans and Puerto Ricans, but you got to understand that they assimilated into the African American culture. Okay, so you didn't create; you were a part of it. Yeah, but you weren't. The creation. Now you contributed. You contributed, but you weren't part of the crew. Creation. We created it, and you came and contributed. Correct. You added on. Correct. After its creation. Okay. So now going into that, like I said, I'm on the hip hop side of fashion and lyricism because I love dressing. Yeah. And I'm a sneakerhead. Yeah. And that that really came from hip hop. Yeah, yeah. And nobody nobody consumes sneakers like New York they is. did. No. Like they did until hip hop came on the scene. Hmm. We talked about different sneakers. Hmm. We talked about different clothes. Hmm. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So this is a creation that we created, yeah. which is worldwide now. Yeah. Yeah. People are sneakerheads worldwide. Yeah, now. yeah. And I'll, t I'll tell you my theory on that. In Dubai, you got to have a nice car, right? Nobody here has a car, so your whip here is your shoes. Yeah. Well. You got to think about it only for certain communities. Yeah. For our community, because like I said, yeah. like we were just speaking about, if you had a car and you was a teenager, you getting pulled over immediately. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially in the city. Yeah. Because the police, like I said, probably yeah. at that time, 95% white. Yeah. And like I said, any dude that's my age or older yeah. was basically born and raised as a racist because we're in a white supremacist society. But going back to Eminem, I mean, going back to Drake, Drake. is in hip hop with, with, with rappers, two things are, 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 are cardinal sins. Biting and somebody else writing around for you. You can be an entertainer. He's a great entertainer, but you can't put him in the joint as a MC. You can't put, Damn. he's not in the top 100 Come of on, MCs. Man. Come on, OG. Let's, we keeping it hip hop. But let me We're not talking about, like I said, the majority of the listeners are casual, casual listeners, not hip hoppers. So they don't care about that. They don't care about how hip hoppers feel about get, yeah. somebody in your song for sure i get your point but drake's wrote songs for uh kanye uh little wayne like a lot of the songs that they have he's written for him as well a lot of the big hits i feel he like wrote, he, see this is you, you people got to understand somebody write a hook he didn't write your song he wrote the hook hmm. you think what i'm saying that's what people are getting getting a lot of shit twisted hmm. 
if a dude write the hook, he didn't write your verse. He ain't write their verses. Yeah. 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 Damn. I, I want somebody to tell me Drake wrote a Wheezy verse or a Kanye verse. Then I then I have to take away their accomplishments. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But you Entertain, can't. In a, being an entertainer and being an MC is two different things. You can be a rapper and you an entertainer, but yeah. you're not a rapper and you an MC. Yeah. Is Puff an MC? No. Is Dre an MC? No. No. Exactly. Yeah. So, and does anybody <laughs> put Puff or Dre on any list? Family Feud. Family Feud. Did you see that? My, my friend That's Family Feud. Did it, you see it, that? Yeah, they asked they put, 100 white people. Yeah, yeah, I had one white people. White. That was crazy. Dre never wrote a rap in his life. Dre's best uh, bars to me were written by Jay Z. To me, Dre's best bars to me was written by Eminem. Yeah. To me, Ice Cube. Oh, Ice Cube's the goat. And 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 DOC. Ice Cube was because yeah. DOC wrote most of the chronic. Wow. His yeah, Dre's yeah, yeah, yeah. verses. Yeah, 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 yeah. So of course. Dre yeah. was spitting on that joint. Yeah. Creep yeah. down the back Dre? street on D. Have I met Dre? I'm not sure. We made like, I don't think it's like, yo, this is Dre, this is God. I never met him like sure. that. But I'm not sure if we've been in the same place at the same sure. time. You know what I'm saying? What about um tell me about the parties? What were the parties like? At what time? Like when, when Big was alive or yeah. afterwards? No, the big parties. Those, because those, like, we were still hood. Mm. It, 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 like, they were hood classy. Yeah. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. It's like, dudes had, to, dudes had to dress up, but we, like, we rarely dressed up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We rarely dressed up. Rarely yeah. ever. Yeah, yeah. That was rare. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We was in spots where big dudes had gators and we had Tim's on. Wow. You, you, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, wait, so wait, we yeah. had access that other dudes didn't have. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like I re literally remember because after Big Pass, I used to be with Mace a lot. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I used to be with Mace. Yeah. Like, I remember me and Mace in a spot with Olas, basketball shorts. Wow. We in a club where you had to dress up. I think this was La Flamingo. Yeah. We came, I think we was in Chelsea playing basketball. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> On a late night and then went to the studio and went over there. Yeah. So we had access that everybody don't have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, and then after Big Pass, like, you know, I knew a lot of security, so I would slide a dude some bread and I got my burn in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no crazy parties that you have from mansions and jacuzzis and da 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 da. Nah. No, 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 that. No, no, that. I'm not, we not being in no fucking jacuzzi with a bunch of niggas. <laughs> Who said the women were those guys? Like, 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 we didn't been in a place where they had pool parties. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You go to pool parties, there's a lot of females and all that. Yeah. We're not getting in the water. Ah, interesting. We, we out there trying to bag something and slide. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We, we, like, this is the thing is, you had a certain cachet. Maybe not me, personally, had a certain cachet when, I, when we came in the spot. Females yeah. is... yeah. Automatic, like yeah. you, you kind of have, you kind of yeah. have a pick. Yeah, you know what I mean. Not me personally. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, this is the thing. I had my own aura. Yeah. So I had a, I had a pick to a degree. Yeah. You know what I mean. What, was Biggie a big womanizer? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just tell me he's going over. He was day. dealing with Faye and Kim at the same time. Yeah. So that that tell you that right yeah. there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. is documented. So yeah. hey, it's not nothing. I'm telling on him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This shit is documented. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. But on top of that, Faith and But he been and, like, he been that. Yeah, but like, he also had people don't know, like, 
People think Big got girls because he got on. He had girls before. Big had a way with himself. Big had something swag over here, right? I think she was she was either African or Haitian, right? She was from either Africa or the Caribbean. Came around here, big back. When I say she had a wagon, when I mean her shit was right. He big, big younger than me. Yeah. Mind you, he backed. I could, I ain't have no action. Damn. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not like big, big couldn't, like big wasn't, and yeah. have girls before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had charisma. Yeah. He had charisma before that. Big had G. Damn. See, this is a, this is one thing. No, because I'll tell you something. Like the one weekend. thing, the easier way to get women to be comfortable with you, make them laugh. Of course. Of course. But I'll tell you this. You know, the weekend. The weekend. The, the yeah, 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 yeah. He would get no girls if he wasn't famous. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. Maybe not with the when he had it with the with the with the dreads <laughs> like that. Yeah. I, I probably not. But you nah, nah. See, don't don't think that. Cause it'd be like we didn't have we see back in the days we used to call dudes like that village dudes. Okay. Dudes that hang out in the village. Why? Oh uh, West Village. Yeah, dudes that hang out in the village because they they just they don't dress like us. You know what I'm saying? Like they we might be around the same age, but he got some bohemian type dress. Yeah. Different market. Yeah. 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 You go around him, you might not get nothing, and he got all the women. Yeah. But he comes around you, and it's like he doesn't want to do it because exactly we dealing with we dealing with the females in our environment. Yeah. He hasn't adapted to our environment. Yeah. He adapted to a yeah. whole different environment. But isn't that crazy about New York that there's different environments three kilometers away, two miles away? Yeah. Like in Australia, when we go to city, everyone's the same. The whole city's the same. Yeah, and then like New York is kind of yeah. different than anywhere in the country. Any country. Than anywhere in anywhere in the world, really. Right. Because yeah. You got established communities of different countries in New York. Yeah. You got Russians, you got Ukrainians, yeah. you got Albanians, Jews. you got Jews, you got Italians, you got Caribbeans, you got African Americans, you got Africans. Like you got diverse, you got diversity within black people. Yeah. You got diversity within the Spanish speaking community. Yeah. You might have Spaniards from Europe. Yeah. Then you got Mexicans. Then you got Dominicans. You got Puerto Ricans. You got Cubans. You got Venezuelans. You got Colombians. Yeah. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Then, like I said, diversity in the black because you got black Dominicans. You got black Colombians. You got black, you know what I'm saying? Damn. So we got a diversity anyway. Yeah. Any way you look at it. Yeah. Might, like, you might, like, you might, you got a dude that's, he's from Senegal. His wife is from Barbados. Their kids is American. Yeah. But, OG, this is what I mean about there's no racism in New York. Because if it was anywhere else in the world, they'd start killing each other. Bro, racism in America is different. It's like, it's a system. You understand? So everybody that works under the system perpetuates the system. You know what I'm saying? Like, racism is not like, yo, I hate you because you this and this. It's a system put in place. Ah, I see. It's a hierarchy. To, exactly. Ah. To, to advance the, 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 the people that they quoted as white. Yeah. Because you got to think about it. Until the 1920s, Italians wasn't white in America. Yeah. Yeah. You had Bacon's Rebellion in 16-something. Yeah. This is when... White people didn't exist in the world until 1683. Yeah. Damn. Nobody considered themselves white. Yeah. They considered themselves where they were from. Yeah. They we were Irish, Scottish, French, Spanish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, not even Nigerian, Yoruba, yeah. Igbo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hausa. Yeah. Ashant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You had they were who they were. Yeah. It wasn't no, 
I'm black. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That didn't exist until they created it. Yeah. Damn. So that's crazy. When 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 you it's the system because it's, so it's like all right, like I said, everybody is it's the system. The reason that they view us as lesser than is because they've been taught that in school. No. So now now school and media then taught them that black people, no matter where they from, was lesser than them. Yeah. And babies aren't born racist. No, you getting taught. You know what I mean? Yeah, you getting taught. That's why I say it's the system. So yeah. until until the quote unquote white people fight the system, it's gonna be continuous. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Until you Very stop true. claiming, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, uh, accepting yourself yeah. as white. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And what it is is they done fucked them around more than they fucked us around. Because now they don't have no identity outside of white. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Irish people had a they have a culture. Scottish people have a culture. You know what I'm saying? They're the ones that don't. When you white, what what's your culture? So they've ended up isolating themselves. Bingo. They don't have a culture now. Yeah. They just, yeah, white. just white. White. But no then salt. but then no when, seasoning. What they'll say is, but I'm Irish, that's not white. Yeah. Because if, 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 if we, we, let's do the history. History, yeah. If we do the history, we know who were the original Irish, French. Yeah. They were black people. Yeah. <laughs> so that means if you was Irish, you could have been white, black, and mixed. Yeah. yeah. That's not white culture. No, that's not white. You understand what I'm saying? The same thing. It's never white. The same thing. Exactly. Because it never European, started white. Exactly. European culture, all of its culture yeah. is not white culture. Yeah. The Moors was over there for 700 yeah. years. Yeah. These is Africans. Yeah. It's Africans that have yeah. been over there for 700 years. Yeah. So now all of everything that they created, that's African culture. Yeah. In Europe, because they brought it from where they were from to this place. Mm. You understand what I'm mm. saying? Yeah. So they brought African culture. They you didn't have you didn't have you didn't have no universities until yeah. Africans came there. You y'all was running around hunting each other for food. Yeah. This is an actual fact during the mm. dark ages. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the, like even in their paintings, they have paintings of moors and castles, and you got wild woodsmen mm. coming to attack the castle. Mm. White men. Mm. So who was the civilizer? Who was the savage? They showing this in their own paintings. Yeah, this is in European paintings. Yeah, like I told I told you before, I love history. So yeah, yeah I, know. I, I know. I get deep I into know. that. So that's why I say it's a system <laughs> put in place. Do you think you have a bias with Kendrick Lamar, and you're not looking at Drake because he's not American and he's not really black? He's that oh, he black. black. He, no, he, his dad's black. He's, he's black. But what he's I mean black. is, what I mean he's, is, he just, he's not, he didn't grow up culturally. I was about to say that. Cult, that's exactly. Like, like I was saying before, it's a cultural thing. It's, it's a cultural thing. They, 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 that's why I love the beef. It's a cultural thing because it's a lot of people that take advantage of black Americans' culture, yeah. but say we don't have a culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they benefit off of it. Yeah. yeah. You go on TikTok, you see the black people dancing, you may see 10,000 views. You see a non black person doing those same dances, 10 million views, 20 million views. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, sure. He's basically sure. saying, like, yo, you cosplaying <laughs> yeah. an American, you black. Yeah. But you're not American. You cosplaying American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everywhere you go, this nigga that had a New York accent. I done, I done seen him say son and all yeah, that. He had yeah. the, he done had Atlanta accent. Sure. He's a, first of all, people got to understand, first of all, he's an actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's an actor. He's an actor. So he's cosplaying yeah. all of these roles. Yeah. He didn't take, he didn't take his boss advice. Yeah. Be you. Yeah. He turned out to be Jamaican, African, British, a hood Canadian, which he yeah. not. That's what I'm saying. It's like he's not even 
He yeah. didn't even come up in the black Canadian culture. Yeah. It's not even that Kendrick is talking about him in American black culture. You weren't even part of Canadian black culture. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's when he says, you're not a colleague, you're a colonizer. Yeah. So that's a deep line. That's a great line. Well, look what he did. That's a great line. Hey, hey, hey. He started off in Houston. Who? Drake. Started off in Houston. I was in prison. I watched this dude a whole career in every, in every region that he jacked their style and won with it. Best I ever had, what he was doing, the chop and screw shit. All when he, all when he got hot, you remember? Because I could tell you how I know. At the time, I was in USP Pollock. Pollock is in Louisiana. You're going to hear everything, Young Money, and everything from Houston. Because Houston is right there. Yeah. We yeah. had a big contingent of dudes from Houston in the prison, from Texas in the prison, and Louisiana. Because that's the region. That's the region it's in. So you're going to hear that music. Bro, I'm hearing, I'm hearing him because people don't, like me, I follow, I follow the culture. So I saw when Houston got hot. At that time, Houston was at the top of the rap scene. Yeah. The Houston, the Chopped in School, all um, Mike Jones, Chameleon Ed, Paul Wall, um, Slim Thug. All of these, um, Z, um, damn, I was about to say zero. Is it zero? Yeah, I think it's zero. All these Houston dudes is popping. UGK. All of this, all of this was at the top of the rap. It wasn't, it did, like, you had, like, you had, see, this is the thing about New York. New York may have a rapper that sells a lot of records and always is in the limelight. But New York ain't had ain't had a chokehold on the game in years mm. where everything was New York. Mm. Until big. Even in the night, no. Even in the 90s, we shared it with, 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 with LA. And shared that's when the LA. South was on their come up. Yeah. That's when the South yeah. was on their come up. 95, yeah. 96, that's yeah. when everybody started. Yeah. Everybody outside of the South started listening to okay. the South. Okay. Remove everything about the two individuals. If you look at lyrically, who is better, Drake or Kendrick? Lyrically. Kendrick. Easily. Lyrically. Easily. Easily, bro. With easily. Are you serious? I'm serious. I, I regularly say if you have to argue for Drake, like, you know, you already lost. There's no one's arguing for Drake because they know he won. Bro, like, like, not even, uh, like, just talking about lyrically, it's like, bro, it's no comparison. Bro. I want to sit down with you one day. Whatsoever. Play Drake songs and rewind it back and be like, did you catch that line? That's what I want to do. Bro. He said, I remember he did the joint with Eminem, where Eminem murdered, murdered him. When but he again, said a line like, But then again, um, Eminem murdered like, Jay-Z like, 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 in like Renegade. He said, he said some shit right? about... He twisted, he, when he twisted his ankle, he sprained his ankle and some shit. And I'm like, and dude's like, yo, you heard that? And I was like, really? That, like, that's the ball that you was like, yeah, yeah. my yeah. nigga. Yeah. All right. Who, who this, 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 this I say for the culture. This is what I'm talking about, culture. He hasn't made a song where the culture embraced it. Name a song that you can say Drake made that the culture embraced. Like, I mean, the black everyone culture. within the culture embraced it. Not the casual listeners that was a hot uh, a, a hot 100, you know what I'm saying? A top 10 N hit song. Name one, I'm talking about the culture love. Name one from Kendrick all before right. the rap battle. All right. <laughs> all right. They protested with all right. Uh, black, what is it? Black of the, black of the Berry? Bro, they protested off of All Right. Yeah, they was in the street listening to All Right. Mm. Bro, it's just like, mm. that was that was a culture Got song. Got you. See what I'm saying? That's Got a you. culture song. When they went into action, 
You know what I'm saying? People actually was <laughs> out in the streets protesting, doing stuff. Even though me personally, I I don't believe in protest. Me personally, I respect the protesters and all of that, but I'm I'm more in the boy boycotting in action. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. If we if we if we boy because when you get more, you get more off of stopping them financially. Yeah. Because the sure. system is based off of money. Yeah. It's based off of capital. Yeah. So if they're not exploiting somebody and making money, yeah. then it, 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 it now they want to talk. You're stopping their money. Yeah, I get you. So, okay. Do you feel like the African-American community or the rap industry feels like Drake has stolen the culture and given it to white people? He, he, he takes away our relevance. Huh. Because now you 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 got you you got a bunch of white kids that don't care about rap. To these kids, it don't matter. Eminem. Hmm. Eminem, one of his songs, he goes, uh, "You've got ghostwriters, but to these kids, it don't matter." Yeah, that's exactly the point. That's why I said these are casual listeners. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then look like like people always. I always knew this. People within the hip hop community, people that really are in the community, know that the majority of the people that bought records were women and white people, and all non-blacks. Okay. You had a lot of Asians, yeah. and you had a lot of Latinos. Yeah. But it was mostly that that spent money on buying the product. For the most part, were women, black women. Yeah. Dudes, we yeah. hustlers. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get the bootleg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I missed that. Yeah. We, yeah, we're going to get the bootleg. Let, like, let, let's keep it real. Do like, you, uh, like, like in my era. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Like, if, uh, if, yeah. if, 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 <laughs> like, that's why, that's why the streaming thing, you know what I mean? Because they figured out, they figured yeah. out, all right. I grew up standing next to the stereo so you can so you can catch it right on the record. You know, you, you, oh, Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the pause in the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You get that end of the, the radio intro. Yeah, see, see, yeah, you see, you come from the era. You Dude. come from the era. See, like people, like when you, like I'm a dinosaur to these kids mm. Mm. because they can't think of a time with no phone mm. where they can't, they can't think like, I right, think about a uh, 15 year old. You can't imagine not FaceTime. Mm. He literally can't imagine not FaceTime. Yeah. What do you mean you didn't have food delivered to your house? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean someone couldn't go and do a job for me? Yeah. At this shop? Yeah. They have <laughs> access. They have so much access yeah. that they don't realize. It's different. They don't realize the access that we didn't have. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, you literally, like, I didn't understand when we get stuck somewhere. You know, they're just like, people yeah. like, oh, right? You're like, yeah. no, no. You walk. walk. And the next bus is. Look, I'll give another perfect example. When NWA came out, you know how we was late. We was late on this side. Probably six months, a year late. When we really got NWA. Mm. This is groundbreaking music, but we was late. Because mm. we caught the video. Mm. Shit been playing, shit was playing, and already was platinum mm. by the time we got it. Yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? With yeah. no radio play. Yeah. <laughs> by the time we got it. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> by the time we actually experienced yeah. this shit, it was already, Easy had already been out. Yeah. We found out about Easy E through NWA. Yeah. On this side. So that's when dudes was really start going to the record shop. We was buying anything. Yeah. Just the experience. Oh mm. man, it's dude from mm. boo, 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 boo. Like, that's how that's how we got on mm. the um Compton's most wanted. Mm. Yeah. Going to the going to mm. um what was 
Big Beats. What was the name of the joint? The the the, the big record shop downtown. Big shop downtown. No. I was actually like, where did the record store down? Yeah, we used to oh. go. It was used to be one downtown. We used to always go there. I got um comp is most wanted. Um shit. Banging on wax. You, like this is how we got exposed to like 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 the West Coast hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? After we saw it on video music box, because that's all we got. Mm. Like, people don't understand is like, our, we got a direct connection to hip hop because we we had a local video music box. This dude is a legend because he plays shit. Like, you had, this is before your MTV raps and all that. So you didn't have any rap video joint. This dude played everybody. First heard Hammer. First video yeah. music box. Say yeah. you're not playing nothing on, on the radio. Yeah. So we getting we getting the majority of the artists we getting exposed to is through video music box. Mm. Dale the Homo sapien mm. from, from from the Bay Area. Mm. Like 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 E40 and all of them. We got exposed to them through video music box. Not through your own TV raps and all that. This is how we got exposed to, um, you know, all the West Coast artists. Yeah. Because we wasn't seeing that. You know what I'm saying? They probably was exposed to us more than we were exposed to them. Yeah. That's why you had so much dudes hating over here because they wasn't exposed to it. And it was different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. dudes ain't understand because they from a whole <laughs> different culture. It's like this was crazy about American black culture too. We're regional. We all basically got the same culture, but regional. It's just, just like I, I give you a part. The United States of America is more like Africa with black people than people would realize. Because everybody got their own regional flavor. Mm. New York dudes is New yeah. York dudes. Yeah. Cali dudes is Cali And you can dudes. tell the difference. Exactly. Louisiana dudes is Louisiana. Texas yeah. dudes is Texas dudes. Like these is regions where yeah. they got their entirely own culture. Culture. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 yeah. it's black American culture, but yeah. it's for that region specifically. Yeah. Yeah. You understand okay, yeah. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what the biggest thing America exports to the world is? Culture. Yeah. 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 Th that's the biggest exporter. Well, well, export. Or that, that and guns. <laughs> yeah. Well, we get real big. weapons all we over the dark. Place. That's the government. That's right. But the people. The people? The people. And, and see. <laughs> I was, I, I, this would sound racist to white people, <laughs> but the only culture that people adopt is black culture. Explain. All right. <laughs> Country music mm -hmm. created by black people. Mm. Rock and roll created by black people. R&B. Created by black people. Hip hop, created by black people. All the dances, created by black people. The best food, created by black people. The food thing is is uh, debatable. Name a white food. Name a white food. Oh, I see. <laughs> Name a white food. Yo, man, yo, I can't tell <laughs> Name a white food. Name a white food. <laughs> <laughs> That's real shit. But they wouldn't call it white food. That's yeah. German. It's not yeah. white food. That's German food. That's what? Hold on, hold on. We're all Germans white. Mm. The original German? Well, all of them. Like, you had, this you got to remember. All of these people were not all white. It was black people in all these places with all of these people. 
at, at one time, Europe was diverse. Yeah, of course. So, is German culture white culture? No. Is Irish culture white? No. None of this is I because all of these people were amalgamated. So the only the only people that had a uh, 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 uh, the only people that had their own specific Africans, Asians. They was it, it wasn't nothing, it wasn't nothing but them there. So you had different ethnic groups in certain places, but each ethnic group has its own culture. Is is white people not an ethnic group? No. Because that doesn't exist. It didn't start. It don't exist. So where did the... Even black people have different ethnic groups. So where did the white genetic originate? Was it some African that was born in Albino? And he fucked another Albino? No, white people came from um, Africans and Neanderthals. <laughs> Them and some Asians. That's who they come from. That's that's how they exist. You got to remember, everybody. But how do they become everybody, white? Everybody is everybody is African. How do they become white? Huh? How do they become white? <laughs> I can't spell the. I can't explain the genetics of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. That's a that's a loss of nothing, <clears throat> I, which I can't explain. Okay. Yeah. I got another question for you. Who killed who in the Renegade song between Jay Z and Eminem? I don't. Eminem killed Jay. Come on. I don't remember that. Like, cause I was locked up. So I didn't, the song. I, I didn't probably a couple times. Okay, but you didn't you didn't yeah, study I didn't, it. I didn't, you yeah, didn't study like, it. like like I can't I can't yeah. you know how you if you yeah. if, if yeah. you, you didn't study yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I get you. Okay. Uh I can't now I can't say Nas <laughs> killed Jay with the ether. Oh damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm from Brooklyn. Like <laughs> yeah. 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 He yeah. he good, he got at him. Yeah, yeah. And don't do that. I was never the dude. That was denied. I was I was never in denial. You know oh, what I'm I saying? See. You know, a lot of you, us, a lot of us Brooklyn Knights was in denial. Yeah. 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 A whole lot. Yeah. Was in denial. Yeah. You were you were un unemotional. I'm, a, hi I'm a hip hopper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm a hip hopper. Yeah. So it's like I'm a I'ma be honest. Yeah. Like, I give a perfect limit. Remember I said Q was one of my favorite. Artist from the West Coast. Yeah. Common tore his ass up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And common, not to get, don't get it twisted. I just prefer Cube's former rap. Yeah, yeah, me too. The content. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, me too. Not, common was nice though. I love Common for being a rapper's rapper. Yes, yes, yes. You know, for being a lyricist. Yeah. And when he came in to bitching you, yeah. Yeah, I was like, hey, he smoked yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The delivery was better. Um, have you met Ice Cube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You met him? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We was with Puff, though, so. Okay. It wasn't like, no, like, he was, he was with us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, like, to be honest, because Puff was like a suit. He was like a suit character. Yeah. He wasn't one of the brothers. Like... He was a suit. Puff is hood and not hood. If, if you understand what I mean. Oh, yeah. From there, grew up, blah, 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 but he wasn't involved. Yeah. You, know, you understand? Yeah. So yeah. he knows the, the periphery. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> So he, the connection is gonna be different. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you understand what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's like he's like the kid <laughs> that he from the hood. The up the he he live in the same building with with, with 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 three killers, but he went to he went to college. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? He yeah. know what goes on yeah. around there, but he not involved. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I, I understand exactly what you're saying. Okay, 
What was one celebrity that you're like, damn, I can't believe You seen Michael Jackson? Yeah. Yeah, I seen Mike. Damn. I seen Mike. But I was with, I actually seen Mike. This is after Big Pat. I seen Mike with Mario Wanas. Who? Mario Wanas. He he worked for, he, 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 he was with Bad Boy. Okay. This and I was doing my security shit. I had a security company. Yeah. So um, I was doing bit. I worked with him. But Mario was my, he, that's my guy too. Yeah. That's how I met Mike. Wow. He was in Sony Studios. I, yeah. That's how I, like, I didn't, he ain't come up, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. yeah. He, Yo, he, my, he said, what's up? And yeah. then they went in the studio. Yeah. But I was, because I was outside smoking. I like, and yeah. I was like, I wasn't, that wasn't no shit, but I was like. You didn't give a fuck. Like. He's not. He wasn't no dude that like I. Like, yeah, of course. Listen, yeah. Uh, Michael Jackson is another the, the, genre of black people. The, the black culture. No, no, he black culture, but it's just that when you get weird, it's kind of like everybody don't want to like yeah. that. Ain't that ain't nothing like he start getting weird to me. Yeah. yeah so yeah, it yeah. was like yeah. yeah he, there was a story once that now, you know who I, I yeah. would have been. I would have liked to meet who? Prince. Damn, Prince. Yeah, Prince, I fucked with Prince. Prince was, he was weird, but it was not like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Damn, Prince. Nah, Prince was an ill nigga. <laughs> Prince was an ill nigga. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it'd be certain dudes you want to bump into yeah. and see if they hood. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, but see, I heard Mike was hood, though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But this is after the fact. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. thinking he weird and not, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But I heard, it's after the fact, after I seen him, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I heard yeah. he was hurt. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, there was a story that Biggie once picked you up from the from the prison and everyone's like, wow, now, like Biggie Smalls is coming to pick you up from prison. Now, what happened was I went to my second parole board. So usually if you go to your parole board and you get hit, when you go to your second parole board, they let you out within seven to 14 days. So it just so happened, Big and them was on the road when I got released, so I couldn't get no outfit. So I had I had the prison joint. I had the prison set up. That's a nasty setup. Like yeah. nobody Walk wanted. Out. Yeah. yeah, on the walking, that was a nasty setup. Yeah. It was some it's like some hard joints. The jeans name was Big Yank Jeans. That was the name of the jeans and like a khaki, cheap ass jacket and a button up shirt. And I had some old Tim's that I had in there. So I'm coming home looking nasty, right? So it's a dude that know me. He know who my people is. He know big as my people. So we on the bus. <laughs> and he like, yo, blah, blah. So it's some other dudes that get on the bus at another stop. You can tell they just coming home from jail. So boom. I don't know if he know one of them, but they, you know, they start a conversation, but like, me, I'm gonna give you part of my personality. I'm not no personable person. I don't like people. And I'm saying just like, to be honest, I like, I'm not, I don't, I don't like people. Like, so he started talking to him, but I'm like, I'm like a role behind him Got my headphones on, boom, 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 boom. So he telling them who I am. So you know the the, the, the get up I got, I got the big yanks. I got the so I got the oh they give you a they give you a sweatshirt. Shit mad young though. Shit like yeah. sweatshirt. Yeah. Shit come right yeah, here. Right? Shit tight. Yeah. You, mad young. So I'm looking nasty, right? Only thing I got cool is a haircut. That's the only thing that, that looked legitimate with me. I'm looking like a dusty. <laughs> so, boom. He like, yeah, that's big cousin right there. Niggas, them niggas hit me with the... But I'm not even in their conversation. He talking to them. But you know how you know how dudes, when he said it, dudes turned around and looked dead at me. Yeah, like he yeah they like, they, they turned around and they said, yeah, we yeah. on the bus. They yeah. turned around like when he's speaking to yeah. him and telling him who I am. Yeah. I got my headphones on. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't hear really him. Yeah. So I just see 
the niggas turn around and look at me. Now you feel attention, like, okay. Yeah. So, so, I'm look, so they looking at me. Say, so, boom, I take one ear out. They're like, bum ass nigga. That nigga don't know Biggie. So, boom. So I'm like, so I put my ears out. You know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't tweaking. So, boom, yeah. we get to the joint. Get off at 42nd Street, Times Square. So we get out the Greyhound station. We all, you get $40 when you come out the, when you come out the, um, when you get out of jail, they give you $40. And whatever you had on your account. So I probably had, I think Big sent me some money. So I had a few dollars. I had $40 and like a couple hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? So um, we going to the pizza shop. We going to go to the pizza shop. But at the corner, as we stand at the corner of 42nd and 8th Avenue, Big and them pull up. In the middle of traffic, Big gets out the car. Big. You know what I'm saying? Yo! All uh, right, you ever seen Player's Anthem? Yeah. See the Player's Anthem video? Yeah. Remember when he at the top of the um the the the, the, the private jet? And he come out the joint, he do this. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. He did that. That's exactly what he did. He like, yeah. like that. Yeah. Yo, what up, man, bro? So I'm like, oh, shit, boom, boom, boom. So they see that. The, the, <laughs> the dudes that ain't come from the jail, because me and, me, and, me and it was a Spanish dude from Coney Island. I, I, pardon me, I, I can't remember his name. Coney Island, he from Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? So he, we coming from Governor. We coming from the same jail. So he know. He know who I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because Big had, um, yo MTV rap, Big was like, yo, shout out to my cousin C, blah, 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 blah. So, hey, you know, everybody in the jail, like, yeah, right. yeah. So the other two dudes see it like, oh, shit, this nigga. So I'm like, yo, boom, I'll see y'all later. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I hit my man with the pound, and the other two niggas, I just gave him a look like, all right. You know what I'm saying? You know how you, yeah, I had the yeah. style on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, you styled on me. I had the style on. Yeah, I looked dusty. Yeah, I looked dusty. Yeah. Shut yeah. Shut yeah, I was looking dusty. And, and, and even though they wasn't addressing me directly, yeah, yeah. it was the turnaround. Yeah. And when they turned back around, I was like, that bum ass yeah, nigga don't know where. Yeah, 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 that bum I'm ass nigga don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm hearing yeah. them. I'm oh, here because I take one ear out. Right, right, right. You know, you got the walk, man. You got yeah, the walk, yeah, man. I'm yeah. playing. I, who are we playing? I had ready to die in there. You know, okay. Of course. No, I had ready to die in my joint. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I got the walkman on, so I take one, you know, matter of fact, I had the joint, so I take one, I pull one ear up. You know, you got the over the ear joint. Yeah. So I had the um the cars joints. So I take one and push the ear. Mm, bum ass nigga don't know Biggie. So you know I had to give him a look when <laughs> I went to the car. Style on. Big pull up, we in the full black 400. Damn. Gave him a look. Stupid niggas. <laughs> well, they, cause they had an outfit for me, but like I said, yeah. they was on the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. They couldn't get me the outfit. Yeah. Because the outfit was at Man Crib. Man was on the road with Big. So he couldn't even ship it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He couldn't ship it. Yeah. 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 When I got this, nigga, I got the I got a couple outfits, two Ava Rexes and 10 bands. Nigga, I'm like yeah. that Ava Rex alone is problems. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I got set out at media. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was just the like dudes. But that was like, that was, that was, that actually was the story that happened. It's like, because he didn't come up to the jail. And the only other thing was when I went to see my PO. Go to see my PO, he asked me, where you work? I said, y'all work for my cousin. So I, he in the music industry. So he was like, so I gave him, I gave him, I gave him his name. I gave him his government. Christopher Wallace, boo, boo, boo. And then I give the, um, damn, I forgot Cuz's name. That, that was the, t he was the top dude in Bad Boy, under Puff. So he was giving me the, the, the job, the job letters. You know what I'm saying? Boom, he had me on the payroll and all that. So this is for, P this is for my PO. I ain't, it, he ain't giving me nothing. You know what I'm saying? Wow. But it's just, the, yeah. So boom, I tell him that. So boom, I was like, y'all work in the studio, boom, boom, boom. And he was like, yo, well, you working there, man. Um, he gonna have to come through. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, like prove it. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, he was like, yo, what he just time wanted you to work? 
He just wanted he to meet him. He, no, he didn't know who it was. Ah. He was like, what time you work? I was like, yo, I'll be working at night. He was like, yo, you got a curfew. He was like, yo, I'm going to have to meet your employer. I was like, yo, but he in the music industry. You know what I'm saying? So he said, but I didn't want to blow big up. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not trying to say big. Okay, yeah, right. but I, I just said his name, Christopher Wallace. You know what I'm saying? I'm being mad slick yeah. with it. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, yo, you got to bring him up or you, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to take that job. So I told Big, Big like, all right, word. When you got to go? Monday. So my joint was Monday. He was like, all right, come on. So we shot down there. <laughs> this is um, wow. at one, at, 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 at um, Livingston. No, what's that, 120? What's that, was 120? 320. 320. Uh, we in 320. Bro. The waiting room is half this is probably not even the size of the barbershop. You know what I'm saying? That's the size of the waiting room. So when we come in, everybody, yo, big, yo. they said, got it. Like, and then, you know, dudes that I was in prison with two, yo, got it, what's up? Blah, 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 blah. So now it's pandemonium, yeah, it's pandemonium yeah. in the joint. So it's a female that worked in there. I was trying to holler at too. I ain't gonna lie. Nice chocolate, pretty, pretty thing. So boom, I used to come, when I used to come to my PR, he's like, smile, how you right. doing? You know what I'm saying? Smile. So boom, <laughs> he seen me, tow ass upstairs. <laughs> Dude come out. He was like, yo, bro, why you ain't tell me? I was like, well, I told you I work for my cousin. I gave you his name. I was like, boom, boom, boom. He was like, nah, come on, boom. He walked us outside, took hey. us to the side. You know when they be taking dudes, they get cuffed, yeah. when they be violating dudes, right. take them to the yeah. side. Yeah, they took me to the side, took me to the side. He was like, yo, bye, bye, bye. He was like, yo, man, all right. Boo, boo, boo. And then I was I was cool as a fan after that. Yeah. Then I got he got transferred. I ended up getting another, another P.O. Hit. That's how I got that's how I got violated. Right before he got killed. That's wow. how I got I was on a parole violation when he got killed. Wow. Wow. But that was like that's the two wildest. Wow. Joints. What a story. You know, that's the two wildest joints, like, as far as people not knowing. Yeah. And then when they see Big yeah. like, going crazy. Yeah. That's why I said the impact. Like, I knew when I saw the impact, I was like, yo, this nigga is the illest. Yeah. I remember he killed me one time in the studio, bro. We're in the studio, right? So I can't remember what verse he do, but I'm, I'm like, saying it under my breath. I'm like, I'm listening to it. I'm like, damn. The Biggie Smalls is the illest. He talk. Oh, you mad dick rider, bad bro. Why, 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 why? Cause like, that's like, that's like the, the, the glazing, or that's what they call. That's like glazing, my nigga. Yeah. Like you just out the blue. I'm like, damn, Biggie Smalls is the illest. He caught that. Cause I'm just saying in my mind, I'm like, nah, cause I'm just saying. He heard it. From everything I'm hearing, it's like, yo, this nigga is just. The just yeah, but it's, it's it's like that nigga killed me. That nigga was riding me for about half hour on that. <laughs> oh man, bro, I'm the biggest smalls is the other bad dick rider. You know what I'm saying? Going in, you know what I'm saying? But that's how you know that was our rep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish it was an era where you guys had WhatsApp or something where he's like where there's voice notes. That you have voice notes from him. Just hear his voice, how he talks to you, like. Like, I wish I had his motherfucking uh, answer machine. Answering machine? Yeah, we had an answer machine. Nigga had an answer machine. What is it? But I said, I wish I had that. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I was yeah, locked yeah, up. Yeah. So when I came home, everything, yeah, everything, was I'm saying, everything was gone. Yeah, but with that Kendrick and Drake thing, that's culture, man. Because he was like, like I said, with the regions, we got so many different cultures within the culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got yeah. the LA culture, you got the yeah. New York culture, you got the Louisiana culture, yeah. you got the DC culture, you got the yeah. Maryland culture. So, yeah. this dude just came and just placed himself within each one of those regional cultures and, 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 and benefited from it. I see what you mean. When the people within the culture didn't benefit like he did. You had certain people that benefit the ones he did music with because he was already that big. But you know the what I'm thing, saying? this is how I see it. I see it as 
he's don't, not don't, from don't, a hood, don't, right? Don't tell because, me the Drake because, stimulus package. Listen, let me tell you something. He because, don't, because, you about to come with the Drake listen, stimulus package. Come on. No, don't. Listen, because listen, listen, this is the Drake. The Drake it's, it's not the Drake stimulus package. It's, it's what it is, is Drake getting the stimulus package from them. Yeah, he's taking money out of their own pockets. It's not a, like he's giving them, they getting the peripherals. He's getting the bulk of the benefit. And then when your when when you when when, when your, your heat cooled down, he off to somebody else. <coughs> but listen, here's the thing. He when, went from Louisiana. If, if I, if so I, he was sounding like the, 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 the Houston dudes. Next thing you know, he starts sounding like some. some <laughs> if I create. Usually when you didn't see the club. Yeah. Like he helps you get your legal you didn't go up. 21 decades. Street cred. Made you feel like, like you are dumb in your head. head. You got your whole buzz off of Houston. Can I make my point? Can I make my point? He's clearly raised in a white culture. But because he loves this genre that black people have created, he doesn't have a, a hood to go based off. So he comes and pick, picks out things that he likes and he puts it together. That's now, the if, problem. I, if I'm in, let me You're finish from my Canada. point. <laughs> go to the hood in Canada. Problem number one. No. Go to the hood in Canada. Big them up. Yeah. Bro, who does he big up in Canada? Nobody. From the hood. The six, that's it. No, from the hood. I'm talking about the, the, the hood dude. Tory Lane? Listen, was Tory Lane signed to Drake? No. Tory Lane's got it on his own, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Now, hold on, hold on. Is any other Canadian, what other Canadian dude got it on his own and is big? Or what other Canadian okay. do link with Drake and is a household name? But isn't it big as he is? But I tell you what, how many Americans he linked up with? In order to, but but he didn't he didn't, he made them a household name as a surrogate to him, but he basically stole their sauce. Okay, here's, here's this my is the point. thing. We create the sauce. <laughs> then you go and sell the sauce yeah. and make the money. Okay, this is my perspective, okay? If, if somebody creates something and puts it in the w world, somebody else should be able to use it to make it better or progress it. That doesn't make it better. That's just like, I give you a perfect example. I give you a perfect example. Why well, I was just watching this on YouTube the other day. And they was talking about all the stuff that the modern world has taken from indigenous people that they used to call primitive. Number one, remember the joint where they carried the babies on their backs? Yeah. White people started doing it and made a bunch of money <laughs> off of it. Like indigenous stuff that we did. Now you know what they do? They're making barefoot sneakers. Damn. You, you understand what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying. They always, they, listen. This is the sadness about white culture. They need our culture in order to exist. Of course. They need, they need something to copy. And like people, 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 I, I look at it as different. I don't look at it as they trying to destroy us. They're parasitic. Mm. Their culture is parasitic, not the people themselves. Mm. The culture is parasitic because mm. your culture is now, their culture is white supremacy and capitalism. That's white culture. Mm. Mm. So now <laughs> the only thing they know how to do is market something. Mm. Correct. So that's it. Market something. They, they don't created. create anything. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. they created, they created marketing. Yeah, they distribute. But they created marketing. <laughs> Listen, they don't dis they, you can't distribute we until make you it, create something. They distribute. No, they don't distribute, they take it. We create it, they steal it, get it patented. Because you gotta remember, in this, especially in this country, in this country at one time we couldn't get a patent. So we had to go through somebody that was a white person to get a patent. So it was basically they patent. Then they rob us and make 
the, the, yeah. the, the, the you think yeah. all this stuff that was created in America was created by white people? Mm. It was created. Mm. If you got niggas on your land mm. working for free, yeah, who is gonna come up with the shit where they ain't gotta work as hard? Yeah, <laughs> who gonna who gonna who do you think gonna invent the cotton gin? <laughs> A nigga. <laughs> okay. Then also, okay. they brought they brought us from places where yeah. they knew where they would they knew mm. the people that they were taking. They needed cotton growers. They take the people from the region that grew cotton. They need rice growers. They need people that they, bro. Yeah. After the Civil War, that was that was the reason for the creation of unions, because we were the only ones that were able body skilled workers. Yeah. Majority of them may have no skills. Yeah. Because niggas is doing all the work. Yeah. I don't gotta learn nothing if yeah. I got a nigga doing everything for me. <laughs> okay. So I'm I'm not white, I'm black, right? Can I use the N word with my friends as a, te- as a term of endearment? It depends on the culture you work. Yeah. So you don't have to be African American to be able to say it in a way of in terms of endearment. That's what I'm saying. It depends because that's a that's basically an African American cultural thing. Yeah. But you can be from outside of uh, African Americans. And you basically adopt African American culture. That's what you you've assimilated yourself into African American culture. Yeah, that's what you've yeah. done. Correct. Once you once you Correct. once you adopt everything as far as the mannerisms, the speaking, and all that, now you have assimilated yourself into African American culture. Correct. So that means you have to respect the culture. Yeah, you got, got to yeah. fully respect the culture. Got, yeah. So when you would like, that's where you have disconnect with yeah. um, black people from America and blacks from Caribbean yeah. and Africa. Yeah. Because you will certain people, and that's the ignorant people, because it's, it's, it's a yeah. lot of it's a lot of people from the Caribbean and Africans and know what it is, but it's usually the people that get the most voices, the dumbest people. Yeah. On both sides. When you got the dumb you you got the dumb African Americans that don't know culture and They're stuff like that. They're, it's usually the loudest. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and that's what white supremacy allows because they they want to push the ignorance to the forefront. Yeah. If we never if we never connected, if we're never connected, who 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 does who does that benefit? Nobody. It been no. It benefits the white supremacists. Hmm. Hmm. If we always at odds, you black, if you a black from Africa, he's a black from Kingston, Jamaica, he's a black from Venezuela. I'm a black from America, and it's another black from UK. If we always at odds, who benefits? Yeah. Yeah. When we none of us is looking white at people. none of us is looking, not even white people, because they don't understand, a lot of them don't understand it. Bro, they make the reason they racist is because they don't teach them. History. They teach them what they want them mm. to know. Mm. So you can be racist. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. If you don't know the history, of course you're gonna be racist. Yeah. Cause yeah. you don't know shit. Yeah. Bro, they, we probably, So who does it benefit when when blacks are at odds? White supreme white yeah. the system. This- See, it's not it's not people. People think it's, it's, it's like a group, like when they say white supremacy, they think it's all oh, the KKK. No, it's a system that they put in place hundreds of years ago. Yeah. You got to think about it. Like I said, 1683, white people came into yeah. existence. Yeah. So this is how long they've been working on this system. And they tweak and make it better and make it stronger. Mm. So they don't have to directly, they don't have to involve white people per se. Mm. Cause white, cause the white people are gonna be oblivious because they're not taught anything in their school systems, but only to perpetuate the white supremacist system that we in. But I think that white groups are then talking about the politics in the same way, so that we can yeah. fight within our mm. groups about yeah. this gender, this mm. pronoun, this all this sort of chopped up shit to just make people yeah. fighting. Well, as you say, people in the shadows. Yeah. yeah. It's people in power. See, Gutter? Appreciate you coming on the podcast. No doubt, bro.
I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed our conversation. Um, very insightful, very insightful. Uh, thank you for uh, welcoming me to your community and showing me around. And, uh, man, you need to come to Dubai. Yeah, anytime, man. I don't drink. Dap me up before you go. Yeah, you already know. My guy. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Definitely. Come to Dubai. This has been Sea Gutter.